Konoha village, the Hitaki clan. The Hitaki clan is just a small clan in Kabamoto, not to mention the Uchiha clan, Hyuga clan, Senju clan, etc. who have dominated the ninja world since the Sengoku era. Even compared with the Serutobi, Shimura, Abarame and other families, they are unremarkable. But since the outbreak of the Second Ninja World War, the rise of a peerless powerhouse has changed everything. Konoha's white fang tooth, Hitaki Sakumo, with the white fang's short blade in his hand, he was invincible in the second war of the ninja world, slashing countless strong men in the ninja world with his hands. Even third Hokage, the three disciples carefully cultivated by Serutobi Hiruzen, in the second ninja world war, Tsunade, Orochimaru and Jiraiya were awarded the title of Sanin by Konoha after they fought against Hanzo, known as the demigod, are far inferior to the name, Konoha's white fang. It can be called Konoha's strongest blade in the second ninja world war. And because of the numerous deeds made by Hitaki Sakumo, Konoha also rewarded Hitaki with a house. Although Sakumo Hitaki committed suicide and was ruined afterwards, the house remained. Since Hitaki Sakumo's death, Kakashi has also been sinking down day by day. There is no one to take care of the yard of the University of Nuo. In the meeting room, two figures are sitting opposite each other, and there are a lot of condolences on the table. Kakashi, I will be in charge of you from now on, so please advise. With a gentle smile on his face, Minato looked at Kakashi and said. Hitaki Sakumo had an excellent relationship with Sanin during his lifetime. On the battlefield, Hitaki is the commander-in-chief of Konoha Front. It can be said that Tsunade, Jiraiya and Orochimaru have all been taken care of by Hitaki. However, because Kakashi graduated early, there were no good teammates to form a team with Kakashi. Taking into account the current form, under the comprehensive consideration of Jiraiya and Serutobi Hiruzen, it was decided to incorporate Kakashi into the Minato class, and Minato will follow up teaching to Kakashi. Train Kakashi into a good ninja, understood. Kakashi was silent for a long time, and finally nodded. Kakashi also didn't ask who else was in the team. For him, there is not much difference in teaming with anyone. Because what Kakashi wants to do is to rectify the name of his dead father. His peers have long been unable to keep up with him. Namikaze Minato's name Konoha, Yellow Flash, has spread throughout the ninja world. It is no problem to say that Minato is the first person in the new era of Konoha Janin. As for why it is only Janin first person, not Konoha first person. Because Konoha is the first person, he is still Genin at this time. In short, if you have a Yellow Flash as your own teacher, you can become stronger faster and complete the goal of rectifying your father's name. Bang! Just when Kakashi fell into a strange reverie, the door of the house made a loud noise. Then, with the roar, a cloud of smoke filled the outside, and the entire house began to shake violently. Kakashi hit a sharp spirit all over his body, looked at the dust, his face turned green. What happened to this? Why did your door fall? Minato on the side was also full of spirits, guardingly looking towards the gate of the house. Although I don't know who the visitor is, this huge sound and this scene are definitely not good for the visitor. Did someone hit Hitaki's house? This is Konoha, or in the core area, who dared to break into Hitaki's house directly after eating the leopard. But since he dared to break into Hitaki's house so arrogantly, no matter who it is, he must teach him a severe lesson. It can be regarded as a meeting gift for my disciple. Minato narrowed his eyes and thought to himself. Kakashi. What about you bastard? What kind of break is this, so you can't help kicking? An angry voice sounded, and the corners of Kakashi's and Minato's mouths twitched at the same time. Kakashi looked black at Yu Yu, who was holding a beautiful girl with purple hair. Yu Yu looks like a bandit who just snatched a girl. No. Yu Yu is a bandit. Kicked his house down, and disliked the poor quality of his house, it was even more than a bandit. Yu Yu. Why are you here? Minato smiled bitterly. Yes. He just wanted to show his hand in front of his new disciples. But in front of you why you? Isn't that a beating? Huh. Why are you here? Yu Yu looked at Minato who was aside and frowned. Kakashi has been incorporated into my team. I'm here to inform Kakashi. Minato said with a smile. Isn't it a coincidence? You go with me, too. Yu Yu thought for a while and was overjoyed. What is this called? This is called buy one get one free. Originally, I was just looking for a coolie to carry luggage, but in the end I also harvested a wild game. Looking at the game players around UYU, there are Jiraiya, Kakashi, etc. But the most outstanding one is undoubtedly Minato. With the presence of Flying Thunder God technique, 
Minato can hit extremely rare game. Minato and Kakashi looked at Uyu who was the same as the bandit, and they were immediately dumbfounded. What is it, just follow you. Kakashi, congratulations, you will be her bodyguard from now on, if she loses a strand of hair on the battlefield, I will chop you off. What are you doing in a daze? Hurry up and follow me with my luggage. Yu Yu patted Kakashi's shoulder, encouraged, then frowned, urged. Kakashi's face turned green. Haven't you just been selected as a disciple of one of the legendary, Sanin, Lord Jiraiya, Namikaze Minato, known as Konoha's, Yellow Flash? Why did you become the bodyguard of this unknown little girl in a blink of an eye? And if the protection is not effective, you will have to be chopped off by Uyu? From heaven to hell, nothing more. Master Uyu, I really don't need someone else to protect it. Azuki Yuyan got out of Yuyu's arms, her pretty face flushed, but she expressed her point of view again very firmly. Although she is not strong, since she has learned sword skills from Master Uyu, then she must not be ashamed of Master Uyu. As the greatest genius in Konoha's history, Uyu Sama himself learns the swordsmanship from Uyu Sama. On the contrary, he wants to be protected. Isn't that discrediting Uyu Sama? Oh? No protection, all right. Yu Yu looked at Azuki Shian with a firm face, not reluctant. Call. Kakashi breathed a sigh of relief when he heard the words. What are you doing in a daze? Bring me my luggage quickly. Countless appeared on the heads of Kakashi and Azuki Yuga. Therefore, the key is not the identity of the bodyguard. Is it the hard work of carrying luggage? Kakashi's face was green. Yu Yu, that. Minato, congratulations. From now on, you will be the logistics director of my Konoha Cloud Shinobi battlefield. Minato on the side saw that the situation was bad and wanted to slip away, but before he could finish speaking, he was interrupted by UYU. Ministry of Logistics? Minato is a little confused, what is this position for? It's just for me to eat game. Yu gave the explanation that made the corners of Minato's mouth twitch. Yes, UYU, I just came back. Minato said with a wry smile. He is not an Iron Man. In the beginning, Minato fought on the Cloud Shinobi battlefield. In the Cloud Shinobi battlefield, because he was carrying the Flying Thunder God technique, Minato turned into a sharp knife, specifically attacking the important target of Cloud Shinobi Village. Because of this, Minato gained the reputation of Konoha's Yellow Flash. Later, because of Yuyu's actions, the war between Konoha and Rock Shinobi escalated, so Minato was transferred to the Rock Shinobi battlefield. Although the Rock Shinobi battlefield was eventually reduced to a stage where Uyu performed alone. But running back and forth, fighting continuously on the battlefield for several months, Minato was already very tired, both mentally and physically. I just came back to rest for a few days, are you going to be caught by Uyu to do coolies? Oh? I don't want to go. That's really a shame. For the ninjutsu I studied carefully, I'm waiting for the next person. Yuyu understood Minato's expression very well patted Minato on the shoulder, and said with regret. Huh? Minato was shocked when he heard the words. What did you just say? Yu Yu didn't hear clearly, and asked suspiciously. What I'm talking about is to ensure that the mission of the logistics minister is fulfilled. Minato said with a solemn expression. Very well, Minister Minato, then you will go with this coolie. Well, Kakashi will go and carry my luggage together. Yu Yu nodded in satisfaction, with an expression that I am optimistic about you. On the side of Kakashi, all his facial features twitched together. Yu Yu, the bastard, have you said what you want? I am a coolie in your eyes. Yu Yu, my door needs to be repaired. Kakashi wanted to struggle one last time. Is the war important or the door of your house important? If you bungled the opportunity to cause Konoha's war to fail, let alone your door, all the villagers of Konoha will be in dire straits. Kakashi, your consciousness is too low. That's it. Yu Yu suddenly scolded his head and covered his face. Kakashi's face turned green when he heard Yu Yu's words. In Yu Yu's mouth, he has become an unfaithful and unfilial person. No, they are not human anymore. In Yu Yu's mouth, if you are not willing to become Yu Yu's coolie, you are Konoha's sinner. Kakashi almost doubts life, why doesn't he know that he is so important? Minato on the side was also taken aback. Look at Yu Yu's eloquence. It's even more exaggerated than the third Hokage Lord. White can be called black to you. I'd better help you why you eat game honestly, or you will be suspicious of life as you why you said. Yu Yu, I'm going now. I can't beat it, I can't talk, Kakashi resigned. 
Minato also smiled bitterly, and followed Kakashi to Yuyu's house to help carry the luggage. Minato can actually see that the purpose of Yuyu's visit to Kakashi's house was originally to catch Kakashi, a coolie. As a result, I caught up with myself, and I was also caught by Yuyu. This time, it's really buy one get one free. This, and this, Kakashi, give me a steady back. If a bottle is dropped, I will chop you off and feed the fish. And Minato, be quicker. Work hard. Yuyu directs Minato and Kakashi. Master Yuyu, so handsome. Azuki Yuyan on the side, watching Yuyu summon Kakashi and Namikaze Minato, there are stars in her beautiful eyes. Kakashi and Namikaze Minato, Azuki Yuga knew it. One is the peerless genius known as Konoha before the rise of Yuyu Sama. One is a disciple of Lord Jiraiya, one of the legendary Sanin, a strong man known as Konoha's yellow flash. But these two people, Yuyu Sama can call back and forth at will, so handsome. Minato and Kakashi, who were covered with luggage and carrying a huge luggage bag behind them, glanced at each other with black lines on their faces. Where is that bastard Yuyu handsome? He is simply a slave owner who is peeling the skin. But let's not say that after this time, the two actually felt like a shared adversity between the master and the apprentice. Yuyu, where did this little girl come from? On the side, Tsunade, who was just pulled out of the house by Yuyu, looked at Xi'an and asked with interest. This stinky boy has a really good vision, and the little girls he's looking for are all beautiful. What is abducted? She is Maoyue Xi'an, the one who wants to learn swordsmanship from me. Yuyu is a little dissatisfied, is this a kidnapper? This is what she wants to follow me desperately. Hello, Master Tsunade. Azuki Yuyan looked at the idol worshipped by the female ninja in the world of ninja, Tsunade Sama, one of the Sanin, beautiful eyes shining with stars and respectfully calling. Well, study hard. Tsunade didn't care too much about Xi'an either, and encouraged him a lot. And just when Yuyu and his party were ready to set off. Konoha Cloud Shinobi Frontline Camp, haha. Ha. With joy on Jiraiya's face, he hummed a tune that he didn't know where he heard it. The whole person was just like the Chinese New Year. In fact, Jiraiya has been celebrating for several days. Ha, huh, Jiraiya, what are you enjoying? The curtain of the big tent was opened, and a hoarse voice sounded. Orochimaru looked at his hand. The information that Serutobi had just sent, looked at the happy Jiraiya with a strange expression. This idiot doesn't know that a disaster is imminent. Konoha, the frontline camp of Cloud Shinobi. Jiraiya, you are very happy these days. Orochimaru looked at Jiraiya as happy as the Chinese New Year, humming a little song that he didn't know where he learned from, and then looked at the message that Mr. Serutobi had just received in his hand. There was a weird look in the snake pupils, and he said in a hoarse voice. As soon as he received this information, he rushed to Jiraiya to watch the show. Haha, Orochimaru, don't you know? Yuyu and Minato both went back to Konoha for trimming. Jiraiya looked at Orochimaru and said with a laugh. Since Yuyu was deceived by the old man to the Rock Shinobi battlefield, Jiraiya as an accomplice has always had an ominous premonition. Although Jiraiya felt that he was just forced to nodded by the old man, not an accomplice. But Yuyu doesn't think so. After Yuyu knew the real situation of Cloud Shinobi Village and Iwagakure, he wanted to make him and the old man look good. Jiraiya's panic reached its peak. Jiraiya has suffered too much under Yuyu. From the very first words, I was yelled by Yuyu's anger, and then I was called by Yuyu to give Yuyu some game. And now, Yuyu's strength has reached a terrifying level beyond Jiraiya. Before Yuyu, although his strength was amazing, he was only Konoha's new genius. In terms of strength, although Jiraiya dare not say that he can definitely beat Yuyu, there is still no problem with self protection. Therefore, although the previous Jiraiya was scolded by Yuyu as a white haired bastard, there was a counterattack. I don't know how many times I scolded Yuyu with the name, Smelly Mouthed Kid. But now, the title, Smelly Kid, has long been sealed by Jiraiya. Jiraiya has no doubt that if he dares to mention this, Yuyu's knife will definitely rest on his neck. Now, Yuyu is coming to the Cloud Shinobi battlefield and is looking for trouble for himself. According to information from his disciple, Minato. But Yuyu let out a word to make yourself look good as the old man's accomplice. Although Jiraiya knows that Yuyu is more ruthless and will not really kill him. But being cut twice by Yuyu is not a joke. Not to mention the physical pain, as one of the legendary, Sanin, the deputy commander of Konoha Cloud Shinobi Frontline, 
Jiraiya can be said to have made the limelight in the war with Cloud Shinobi Village. Because Orochimaru, as the commander-in-chief of the front line, needs to sit in a large camp, and more bears the responsibility of command. And Jiraiya, as the deputy commander, led more of Konoha's elite troops to conduct targeted attacks on important targets in Cloud Shinobi Village. Although there are not many opportunities for Jiraiya to take action in person, the success of several small battles still allows Jiraiya to gain great prestige and is sought after by many Konoha shinobi. And Jiraiya himself, also enjoys this feeling of being sought after by Konoha shinobi. But if Yu comes to settle accounts with himself, think about that picture. One of the legendary, Sanin, Megatron Cloud shinobi battlefield, Toad Sage of Mount Myoboku, Lord Jiraiya. Chased and chopped by Yu holding a knife. And with Yu's character, it is impossible to just chop and yell at him. Being scolded and chopped by Yu, but he didn't fight back, even his words were not opponents, and Yu pressed him to the ground and rubbed wanton. At that time, he will really have no face to face many Konoha shinobi people. But it's all right now. Yu Yu went back to the village with Konoha's army to make repairs. Have a good rest. Yu Yu needs to rest now. Jiraiya said, Yu is so special. He went deep into Sanagakure again, and defeated Sanagakure by himself. On the Rock Shinobi battlefield, he captured four tails and five tails Jinchuriki alive, and smashed third Suchikage Onoki to the door of Iwagakure's house. He just kneeled and begged for mercy, Iwagakure, who is best at defending in the ninja world. If this is not tiring, Jiraiya really has to wonder if Yu is a human being. Now Yu went back to get repaired and was accompanied by his beautiful little girlfriends, maybe you forgot about yourself? Jiraiya and Minato used toads to deliver news at all times. After knowing that Yu returned to Konoha to repair, a boulder in Jiraiya's heart was finally put down, and it has been a few days since he celebrated. Go back to Konoha village to fix. Orochimaru looked at Jiraiya who was grinning, his pale complexion filled with a strange look, and the eyes of the snake flashed with gloating colors. I heard that Yu is coming to the Cloud Shinobi battlefield, Jiraiya. Orochimaru looked at Jiraiya, who didn't know that the catastrophe was imminent, and the corners of his mouth curled up slightly and said in a hoarse voice. Hey. Jiraiya, who was thinking about drinking a little wine to celebrate tonight, seemed to be caught in his neck, turning his neck stiffly, looking at Orochimaru who was gloating in disbelief. Orochimaru, this joke is not funny at all, stop teasing me. Jiraiya swallowed, but found that his throat was very dry. This is a message from Mr. Serutobi from Konoha. In order to completely solve the battle of the Cloud Shinobi battlefield, Mr. Serutobi sent both Yu and Tsunade to the Cloud Shinobi battlefield. Orochimaru looked at Jiraiya's appearance, and he was in a good mood, brightened up the information in his hand, the corners of his mouth were slightly raised, and his face was full of gloat. It's been a long time since he had seen this arrogant idiot show such an expression. Thinking about it, I really miss it, Guru. Jiraiya swallowed hard, and looked at Orochimaru's expression that didn't seem like a joke, and suddenly panicked. Huh, then, Jiraiya snatched the information from Orochimaru in an almost grabbing action. Jiraiya trembling hands, slowly unfolded the information, and read it carefully. This piece of information is a top secret piece of information sent directly to the frontline battlefield of Konoha Cloud Shinobi by 3rd Hokage Serutobi Hiruzen. It says that because Kirigakure is about to move around, it poses a great threat to Konoha's border. In addition, Sanagakure, who has temporarily retreated before, is unwilling to the current situation and starts to move frequently. So Serutobi Hiruzen sent Saiga Uyu and Tsunade to the Cloud Shinobi battlefield, quickly solved Cloud Shinobi village, and liberated Konoha's forces on the front line. Of course, this is Serutobi Hiruzen's statement that he is concerned about his own face. In fact, it was Yu who wanted to come. However, the intelligence sent from the Hokage office to the front line is encrypted by the intelligence team. After arriving at the front line of Konoha Cloud Shinobi, decryption is required. Yu Yu is coming to the Cloud Shinobi battlefield to teach Jiraiya and Orochimaru, how could it be written on this information? Is Serutobi here as in shameless as Hokage? As for his two disciples? Anyway. Serutobi Hiruzen has already told them that Yu is coming to the Cloud Shinobi battlefield. For the rest, just ask for your blessings. Anyway, he couldn't die, at most he was chopped a few times. Young people, just have to experience more setbacks. This is also the teacher's care for his disciples. When Jiraiya saw the news that the old man sent Yu to the Cloud Shinobi battlefield, 
Jiraiya trembled violently as if she had gone mad. Old man! You bastard! Jiraiya let out a roar, and her white hair stood up like a needle. That bastard, the old man, if you caused a mess, you just need to carry a part of the pot yourself. As a result, UYU was sent to the Cloud Shinobi battlefield at this juncture. Old man, you really want to die by yourself. Jiraiya's mentality has collapsed. How could there be such a shameless approach? I was born to death in the Cloud Shinobi battlefield. The old man not only wants me to bleed, but also makes me cry. Jiraiya yelled. Orochimaru on the side looked with interest at Jiraiya, whose mentality collapsed, and the eyes of the snake were full of gloat. What, what to do? Orochimaru, you have a lot of bad ideas, hurry up and help me figure out a solution. Jiraiya scolded for a long time, and was tired of scolding. Looking at Orochimaru, as if he had caught a straw, he asked anxiously. Don't let you why you chase him down in the crowd, bad ideas, more? Orochimaru's smile disappeared suddenly, and his face went dark for a while. This idiot, hurriedly said that you missed your mouth. Is he a sinister villain in the eyes of this idiot? Wait for yourself. Orochimaru's face was dark, he still wanted to give Jiraiya this idiot some ideas, at least not to let this idiot appear ashamed in public. Now? Wait for yourself. Yu Yu, it's better to hack this bastard to death. Let the ninja world one less scourge from now on. Orochimaru, you can't die without saving. After speaking, Orochimaru turned his head and walked out of the big tent, leaving Jiraiya behind and yelling. When he reached the door of the big tent, Orochimaru suddenly stopped. Orochimaru, I knew you would not die. Seeing Orochimaru stopped, Jiraiya was overjoyed and said moved. Jiraiya. Orochimaru turned his head and looked at Jiraiya who was moved. Huh? Jiraiya looked expectant, expecting Orochimaru to come up with a good way to save herself. When you why you hacks you to death, I can choose a good place for you in Ryuchi Cave. Orochimaru smiled sarcastically, then sneered, walking out of the big tent without stopping. Jiraiya's expression suddenly froze. Then, the whole face began to smoke. Damn Orochimaru! You saw me making a joke, what should I do? Jiraiya looked at Orochimaru's ruthless back and cursed in a low voice. What Orochimaru said to him still remained in his ears. If you don't take any measures, you will really be hacked to death by UYU. Mount Myoboku, where is Feng Shui better? No, I can't give up on myself, I have to think of something quickly. Jiraiya's face became stiff, why did he start to choose a cemetery for himself? He patted his face fiercely, and then wandered around in his big tent like a headless fly. But with Jiraiya's mind, he couldn't think of any solution in a short time. Bang! Just when Jiraiya was running around like a fly without heads, suddenly there was smoke in his big tent. Qua, as the smoke dissipated, a toad appeared in the big tent. Then the toad's mouth opened, and an information scroll was spat out from the toad's belly. Huh? News from Minato? Didn't he return to Konoha? Jiraiya looked at the toad that appeared suddenly, with some doubts, but then he thought of something and suddenly his eyes condensed. Difficult, is it? Trembling, Jiraiya took out an information scroll from Toad's mouth. Ha, huh, Jiraiya opened the scroll and looked at it carefully. Ho ho ha 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 ha. Suddenly, Jiraiya laughed like crazy. Orochimaru, you bastard who wants to see my jokes, wait for you to die. Although there is no good news in the intelligence. Yu Yu, indeed, is taking Tsunade on his way to the frontline battlefield of Cloud Shinobi. And his disciple, Minato, was also captured by UYU and became UYU's Minister of Logistics Department. However, UYU came to the Cloud Shinobi battlefield, not just to trouble yourself. That bastard Orochimaru is also UYU's goal. The reason? Because Orochimaru, as the commander in chief of Cloud Shinobi, knew the situation of Cloud Shinobi Village and Iwagakure, but did not send UYU a message to remind UYU of this fact. Then, I was credited by UYU it can be said to be a grudge to ultimate. Keep your grudges, Orochimaru, with you backing up, at least I am not the only one who is ashamed. Jiraiya laughed. I, at least because I agreed with the old man's point of view in front of you why you, which caused you why you to be fooled, so you why you made a note of it. Orochimaru, while doing nothing, lying innocently with a gun. When it comes to injustice, Orochimaru is more injustice than himself. This person, even if it is unlucky, as long as there is someone who is more unlucky than himself, then he feels much better. Jiraiya thought of Orochimaru's schadenfreude just now, 
Seeing his jokes, and the ridicule of choosing a cemetery for himself before leaving, he tickled his teeth with hatred. Orochimaru, the bastard, waited for Yuyu to come and slashed it over. I guess I still don't understand what's going on. Fire-style flaming bullet. A strange light gleamed in Jiraiya's eyes, and a fire-style burned the scroll to ashes. Orochimaru, wait for you to die. Jiraiya trembled like a goat. The bastard who loves to watch jokes should be hacked to death by Yuyu. Just when Orochimaru and Jiraiya love and kill each other. Within the land of fire. Let us camp here today. Minato, have you seen the river? I want to eat the deepest fish. Remember, I want the deepest. Yu Yu looked at Minato with a wry smile and scrubbed the autumn water in his hands. Minato's face turned green. This river is still very famous in the land of fire, and it can be said to be bottomless. Even if he has flying thunder god technique, there will be absolutely no fruit after going down. Unlike the Sheik when Konoha first appeared, Minato was quite embarrassed at this time. On Minato's blonde hair, there were beast hairs, as well as debris of rocks and vegetation. Obviously, this was left by Minato going to some hard to reach places for Yuyu to eat game. Yuyu, I was wrong, I shouldn't have sent a letter to Mrs. Jiraiya. Minato looked at the turbulent river, the corners of his mouth twitched, but he didn't get down on it, and said begging for mercy. Minato looked murderous and wanted to go to the front line of Cloud Shinobi Village to find his teacher Jiraiya and Orochimaru's Yuyu who settled the accounts. After all, he couldn't hold back, and he used Toad Contact to send an intelligence warning to Jiraiya. Although Minato felt that Mrs. Jiraiya could not escape the end of being taught by Yuyu, but it was better than being unprepared. However, as soon as the information was sent out, Yuyu was caught. Minato's expression at the time was very exciting. You know, he used Flying Thunder God technique to jump to an extremely hidden place when he was feeding Yuyu game, and he sent a letter to teacher Jiraiya. But still caught by Yuyu. Yu Yu, is it a monster? Stop long winded, let me down. Yu Yu looked at Minato with ugly eyes and snorted coldly. This guy Minato, thought he could escape his ultimate observation hockey with flying thunder god technique? That day, I felt that Minato's complexion was a bit wrong. When Minato went to play game, he used observation hockey to lock Minato. Sure enough, Minato, who was about to send a letter to Jiraiya, caught him. Yu Yu, forget it, Minato, after all has given you so much precious game. If he is drowned in water, who will give you game? Tsunade smiled and hit around. Yeah, yeah, you why you, if I am drowned, who else can give you game? Do you have anything else you want to eat? I'll call you. Minato almost cried when he heard Mr. Tsunade's words, and nodded repeatedly. Oh? My mouth just happened to be a little weak recently. Go and give me a double bear paw. Yu Yu smashed his mouth, thought for a while and said. It's bigger than last time, Yu Yu added. Minato, who had just breathed a sigh of relief, suddenly twitched the corners of his mouth. It's bigger than the last bear, so it must be the bear king, right? Last time the bear, Minato took a lot of effort to kill it. If this is bigger than last time, Minato smiled bitterly. Forget it. Fighting a bear is better than being thrown into the river bottom by Yu Y Yu to fish. With flying thunder god technique, the bear can't touch Minato's side. But bears of that physique are harder to find, and the skin is thick and thick, and it takes a lot of effort to kill the bear. Then you why you, I'm going. Minato said, the golden light flashed, turned into an afterimage and disappeared in the same place. Yu Yu, we will be able to arrive at the Cloud Shinobi frontline camp at about noon tomorrow. After Minato left, Tsunade estimated the time and said. Crunch crunch. Well. Those two white-haired bastards and snake-playing bastards, even if Minato sends them a message in advance, do you think they can run away? Yu Yu squeezed his fingers and smiled sternly. Tsunade looked at Yu Yu's childlike expression and smiled brightly. For Tsunade, who puts all his heart on Yu Yu, Yu Yu's happiness is the most important thing. As for his two teammates, Yu Yu wouldn't kill them anyway. Although Yu Yu can be said to be Konoha Kazuo now, he still treats his own people very well. At most, it is the injuries of staying in the hospital for a few days. There is oneself, as long as Jiraiya and Orochimaru have a breath, they can be rescued. Master Yu Y Yu, the kind of listening power you said, I still don't have a master. Is it necessary to fight with the enemy on the battlefield to be a faster master? Shi Yan, who was sitting cross-legged on the ground, slowly opened her beautiful eyes at this time. Looking at Yu Y Yu, he asked with some disappointment. What's the hurry? 
just know that you are fighting on the battlefield, that's a reckless man. The most important thing for you now is to lay a solid foundation. When you can hear the breathing of all things, you can naturally slash out, just like this. Yu Yu took the knife in Xian's hand and waved it casually. Ohm ha! Huh. Suddenly, a bright white pike roared out, and in a flash, it turned into a terrifying slash that was several meters high. Puff! Under the gaze of Xian worship, the slash penetrated a rock not far away that was several people high. Kacha boom! In the exclamation of Xian, the rock with a few people high, under the pressure of the terrifying sword, turned into countless rubble, scattered on the ground. Have you seen it? This is the power of listening to the breath of all things. Yu Yu mischievously rubbed Shi Yan's purple hair into a mess, and grinned as he looked at Shi Yan's red face. Yes, Yu Y Yu, didn't you mean to fight with the enemy on the battlefield and find the best sword technique for you in life and death? Kakashi on the side, hearing Yu Yu's teaching to Shi Yan, the corners of his mouth twitched. Thinking of Yu Yu's previous guidance for herself, she couldn't help but asked. Huh? Did I say that? Yu Yu looked at Kakashi with, Are you an idiot? Only between life and death can you develop real sword skills. How many lives do you have? Drink less of this poisonous chicken soup. There is no foundation. Are you going to die? Shi Yan, you have to remember, a guy who can say such foolish things, stay away from him in the future. I will explain to you in detail how to listen to the breath of all things. With Yu Y Yu almost stepping into the swordsmanship comprehension of the great swordsman now, it was more than enough to teach a Yu Wei Xian, and immediately taught Xian's little hand in detail. Azuki Xian listened carefully, and raised a few questions from time to time, but Yu Wei Yu easily answered them. Yu Wei Xian, who has been practicing swords since childhood and has a solid foundation, can be said to have made extremely rapid progress. On the side, Kakashi's face turned green. That's not what you said at the beginning. Give me back my original touch. Kakashi, crying without tears, feels deceived by Yu Wei Yu. What did Yu Wei Yu tell him at the Rock Shinobi battlefield? As long as you cut more people, you can get the most powerful swordsmanship. Yu Yu, that's what I said at the beginning. Under the interpretation of an unknown Konoha Janin, it was translated into a fight between life and death to comprehend the most powerful swordsmanship. Therefore, Kakashi, who thought Yu Wei Yu really taught him, was crazy in the battle with Rock Shinobi. It was bloody with Rock Shinobi, and his body was scarred. But let alone, in such a fierce fight, Kakashi feels that his strength has also improved a lot. So Kakashi became more determined, and Yu Wei Yu had taught himself the most important swordsmanship. Kakashi, who was extremely moved, also imprinted this madness in his bones and regarded it as a treasure. But now, seeing Yu Wei Yu teaching Yu Wei Yu step by step Azuki Yuyan, Kakashi has an urge to cry. Take a look at Yu Wei Xian, that slash of the sword, even the shadow of a slash. Under Yu Yu's guidance in just a few days, he is totally different, and his progress is tremendous. If this continues, Kakashi feels that Azuki Yuyan will surpass himself sooner or later. Yu Yu, you bastard! Deceive your feelings! Kakashi has an urge to cry. Kakashi, do you want to learn? Suddenly, Yu Yu's voice rang, awakening Kakashi who was immersed in his own world. Really? Kakashi was taken aback for a moment, and then overjoyed. He just said, How could you why you be a person who values sex and despise friends? After all, he is a classmate of you why you for many years, how could you why you forget himself? Perhaps, the teaching methods are different for men and women? Kakashi thought silently in his heart, the more he thought about it, the more reasonable it became. Men, just grow up in adversity. That's why you why you let himself go to the battlefield to fight for life and death and then teach himself the mystery of swordsmanship. Kakashi, enlightened. Very well, Shi Yan, this guy will be your sparring partner in the future. Take a knife and chop at him. Let me see how much you understand. Kakashi, you just need to defend against Yu Yan's attack, it's up to you how much you can learn. Yu Yu nodded in satisfaction, rubbing Shi Yan's purple hair and said. What a good human sandbag. It's just right to be a target for Shi Yan. Kakashi looked at Azuki Yuyan who was excited, and countless, appeared on his head. Yu Yu, is this to make yourself the target of Azuki Shian's sword practice? Kakashi trembled with so much grief and anger in his heart. What? Shi Yan's father got me the most fine wine, so Shi Yan had this opportunity to learn swordsmanship with me. You didn't seize the opportunity yourself, who is to blame? Now there is a new opportunity in front of you, take a good look at Shian's knife, maybe. 
Yu Yu looked at Kakashi's sad and angry expression and said meaningfully. Yu Yu is too experienced in dealing with this kind of unwilling to cooperate. Of course, if Kakashi had won the jackpot that time, Yu Y Yu wouldn't have been so hard at teaching Yu Yang. After all, purple hair or something is simply not too good. Diarisis. Kakashi's expression of grief and indignation was startled, and when he looked at Yu Yu's meaningful expression, he suddenly realized it. It turned out that Yu Y Yu wanted to give himself an extra chance. Indeed, as Yu Y Yu said, at Iwagakure, the opportunity was equal to all Konoha ninjas. And when she missed that opportunity, Mao Yue Xian got this opportunity through Mao Yue Chinkong. Therefore, I have no reason to feel dissatisfied. But Yu Y Yu not only did not feel dissatisfied with his attitude, but gave himself another chance. Kakashi was moved suddenly again. At the same time, I felt very ashamed of the heart of Kunzi's belly with a little human heart. So Kakashi decided to redouble his efforts to live up to Yu Yu's expectations of him. I'm ready. Kakashi pulled the white fang out of the sheath and said in a ready form. Yu Yu looked at Kakashi like this, with a scabbard going up, hitting Kakashi directly in a daze. I let you defend, who let you draw your sword? Use a scabbard to defend. Yu Yu looked at Kakashi and said angrily, What if this hurts his Xi'an? Ming, I understand, I will work hard. Kakashi was beaten inexplicably, and the corners of his mouth twitched. This is to be a human sandbag. But in order to learn the swordsmanship, Kakashi immediately straightened his mind and said in a ready form. Well, Xi'an, the time has come to show what you have learned. Yu Yu nodded in satisfaction, rubbing Xi'an's purple hair, grinning. Yeah. I will work hard. Shi Yan nodded her head suddenly, her pretty face was full of firmness. Now, it is time to show her learning results from Master Yu Yu. Absolutely, you can't let Yu Y Yu Sama down. Seeing the dazzling blade and cutting at him mercilessly, Kakashi's original serious expression suddenly turned green. This knife is too sharp. The knife in Xian's hand turned into an afterimage and slashed at Kakashi fiercely. Kakashi could only use the unsheathed white fang to defend. In the beginning, Kakashi was relatively comfortable, but Yu Y Yu, who was on the side, began to guide according to Yu Gan's shortcomings. In the eyes of Yu Y Yu, who owns the ultimate observation hockey, Kakashi is full of flaws. Soon, Kakashi felt more and more strenuous, just feeling like a flat boat that would capsize at any time. Wow. Yu Yu, I'm back. After a long time, Minato, who was panting, appeared at the campsite carrying a pair of huge bear paws. Then, I saw Kakashi, who was squatting on the ground, very embarrassed, his clothes covered with cuts, and a look of lovelessness. Kakashi, what's wrong with you? Minato looked at Kakashi's appearance and suddenly became dumbfounded. What happened during the time when I went to play game by myself? Ho Ho Yang, looking at his teacher, Minato appeared, Kakashi's shoulders trembled, and looking at Minato, he twitched the corners of his mouth, revealing an expression that was uglier than crying. He was chopped off by a little girl. While Yu Y Yu and his party were still rushing towards the frontline battlefield of Cloud Shinobi, the world of ninja changed. Just as Yu Y Yu and his party went to the frontline camp of Konoha Cloud Shinobi, a huge wave occurred in the ninja world. Third Suchikage Onoki severely injured his arm. Iwagakur's two terrifying war machines, Four Tails and Five Tails Jinchuriki were captured by Konoha, and the news of Iwagakur's complete defeat caused an uproar in the ninja world. This is Third Suchikage, Onogi who has blood succession elimination beyond the bloodline boundary. As the longest Suchikage in Iwagakur's tenure, Onogi has stood at the pinnacle of the ninja world for decades. With Konoha's third Hokage Serutobi Hiruzen, Cloud Shinobi's third Reikage and a few others, they are also known as one of the most terrifying powerhouses in the ninja world. And Iwagakur's four tails and five tails to Jinchuriki have made countless achievements for Iwagakur, and they are well known in the ninja world. Such a combination was defeated by Chimu Yuyu's sword together. Even Onoki broke his arm, and the two Jinchuriki were captured by Konoha. In the end, Iwagakure even had to let the Daming Mansion of the Land of the Land mediate, and swallowed an unprecedented defeat. This is unprecedented since Konoha started the Shinobu system. Chim Yu Yu Y Yu, once again let the ninja world see the horror of personal force. It even reminds some people who have experienced the periods of Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara of the fear of being dominated by personal force. Sanagakure. When the battle started, because Yu Yu Saiga single-handedly entered Sanagakure, 
Countless San Shinobi died tragically under Uyu Saiga. Captain Anbu, Deputy Captain, and all squad captains are killed. San Shinobi Anbu exists in name only. Sanagakir's strongest blade is completely folded in the hands of Uyu Saiga. Even the elder Chio who rushed back to support was seriously injured by Chimu Yuyu's hands, and it is still a doubt whether he is awakened or not. And Sanagakir was even cut into two pieces by Chimu Uyu with a shocking slash. Even Sanagakir's most proud, Yin Xian Tian, has been thoroughly penetrated by Uyu Saiga. Sanagakir, therefore, had to temporarily withdraw from the war and repair Sanagakir. At this time, although it is still somewhat different from the previous Sanagakir, the ground and the line of sky that have been cut apart have been repaired by countless Jonin who is good at earth style. Sanagakir, the most are ninjas who are good at wind style, and earth style ninjas are relatively rare. So today, it is worthy of repairing Sanagakir. At this time, Feng Ying building, 4th K's cage Luosha sat on the main seat, his face a little gloomy. Sitting around the conference table are Sanagakir's elite. Cough cough, Chio sat on Luosha's lower left, coughing violently. At this time, Chio was still a little pale, and the sleeve on the right was empty. On the abdomen of Chio, there was a thick gauze wrapped around him, which seemed extremely embarrassed. Sister, are you okay? Seeing Chio coughing violently, Ebizo looked worried. After being seriously injured by Uyu Saiga, Sanagakir used all his strength to rescue Chio. But Chio's right arm was already shattered under the violent sword pressure, and Chio's lungs, liver, kidneys and other internal organs were all suffering from serious injuries. Especially Chio's lungs, the right lung was almost completely destroyed by the violent slash. Cuz the present thousand generations, extremely weak, coughing up blood. I'm fine. Chio took out a handful of medicine and drank it in one sip, only a trace of blood reappeared on his pale face. But the twitching corners of his eyes proved that Chio was suffering all the time. If Elder Chio is unwell, he can go back to rest. Luo Sha, who was sitting in the main seat, looked at Qin Dai's appearance, her eyes flashed with a haze, and she spoke. This old guy was already in a semi-retired state, but after being seriously injured by Qimu Yuyu, he didn't know what he had gone mad and began to take back his power. With the prestige of Chio and Ebizo in Sanagakir, Luo Sha had little room for resistance, and Chio had gathered most of his power. And the core power in his hand was when Qimu Yuyu invaded Sanagakir, he lost most of it. Especially Anbu, almost completely wiped out, this brought the ultimate disaster to Luo Xia's power. Luo Xia is a person who is obsessed with power and likes to eliminate dissidents. Therefore, when fighting against Konoha, most of the people who were brought to the front were subordinate to other forces in Iwagakir. And most of Luo Xia's own direct descendants stayed in Sanagakir. But who would have thought that Konoha's Seiki Uyu would invade Sanagakir? Among the thousands of San Shinobi who died in action, most of them were descendants of Luosha. As a result, Luosha's current strength is severely insufficient, and coupled with the disastrous defeat of the war, Luosha's current prestige is extremely low. Therefore, what Luosha hopes most at this time is that Chio and Ebizo completely retreat and hold all power in their hands. I'm fine, fourth generation, you should know the information that Uyu Saiga defeated Iwagakir, right? Chio glanced at Luosha and said faintly, from the beginning, she didn't like Luo Sha, but because Luo Sha inherited the magnet style that can extract sand gold from third case cage, Luo Sha was able to become fourth case cage. Otherwise, Luo Sha's strength is simply not enough to take on the heavy responsibility of Feng Ying. I know, so what? Luo Sha's face sank when he heard Chio's address to him. Stupid. Cough cough, Chio yelled, then coughed violently. Master Chio. Sister. In the meeting room, San Shinobi were in a hurry. Old immortal guy. Luo Sha looked at the thousand generations whose prestige was far above him, her eyes flashed fiercely. Chimu Uyu, so young, you can beat Onoki, he is even more terrifying than the original White Fang. Now, Iwagakir has been completely defeated, and even Jinchuriki has been taken by Uyu Chiji, and Onoki is seriously injured. Fortunately, Cloud Shinobi Village is still at war with Konoha and Kirigakir is also very frequent. If our Sanagakir does not seize this opportunity and kill Chimu Uyu, then our Sanagakir will be destroyed in the hands of Chimu Uyu sooner or later. Chio took a breath, then said with a gloomy expression. When it came to White Fang, Chio's face exploded with bitter hatred. But speaking of Chimu Uyu, in addition to hatred, Chio is more of fear. 
only when you have played against Shimu Uyu can you know what the name really means. That is, the terrifying force beyond the tail beast. If you don't get rid of Saiga Uyu now and let him grow, it will be the next Uchiha Madara. As for why not Senju Hashirama? Anyone who has experienced that era knows that Senju Hashirama is an idealist. Although he possesses terrifying power, he poses no threat to the ninja world. But Uchiha Madara is different. That is a horror figure who believes in absolute force to rule the world of ninja. At that time, had it not been for Senju Hashirama's checks and balances, the ninja world would have all been lost to the hands of Uchiha Madara. And Chimu Uyu is more aggressive and destructive than Uchiha Madara. See what Chimu Uyu has done. Since the start of the third ninja war, more than 5,000 ninjas have died at the hands of Chimu Uyu. San Shinobi Anbu was all killed in action. On Rock Shinobi's side, Jonin lost more than half. Even Uchiha Madara, who has experienced the Sengoku era, dare not say that such a terrifying number can be surpassed. And the kind of swordsmanship that can use the dead to cut out horror slashes, even more so that Shindai thinks of it, and the whole body is cold. Chim Uyu is a killing machine. The tail beast, known as a war weapon, is nothing short of a pet compared to Chim Uyu. If this killing machine grows to the level of Uchiha Madara, then the whole world of ninja will fall into the hands of Chimu Uyu. Right now, Cloud Shinobi Village is still fighting Konoha, and Misty Hidden Village is also about to move. I believe that as long as they join Sanagakure, they will be able to form the union of the three ninja villages. You must be killed before Chimu Uyu becomes invincible in the world of Shinobi. Thinking that thousands of San Shinobi died tragically in the hands of Yu Segi, and Yu Segi's swordsmanship made him see the memory he least wanted to recall, and the death of everyone, Chio couldn't sleep at night. So, she walked to the front of the stage again, the purpose is to kill Chimu Uyu. Do you still want to start a war? Elder Chio, our Sanagakure's strength is severely insufficient, and there is no way to fight Konoha at all. Luo Sha's face was gloomy and said lightly, shouldn't it depend on him whether he starts a war or not? Chio, the old immortal fellow, even gave orders to himself. Now is the best time. Although Konoha has won a big victory, Konoha has long been exhausted after such a long war. Although we have suffered heavy losses, we still have Shuhei in our hands. As long as we join forces with Cloud Shinobi Village and Kirigakure, we will be able to win the war. Kill Chimu Uyu. Chio didn't back down, staring at Luo Sha, and said word by word. Master Fungying, let's fight. Chimu Uyu killed so many of our companions. Yes, I want to avenge my son. Damn Chimu Uyu, I must kill him. Suddenly, the crowd in the meeting room was enthusiastic, and San Shinobi's elites kept roaring. Chimu Uyu, they hate to their bones and fear to their bones. For the greatest fear in my heart, the best way is to completely destroy him. Hatred and fear make these San Shinobi elites crazy. Luo Sha's face was gloomy and watery. Although he was extremely angry, he was not a fool. Of course, he knew that he had to compromise at this time. Okay, then we will declare war on Konoha again. Elder Chio, this time, I will trouble you too. Luo Sha slapped the table, and eloquently said to Tong's words to show her majesty, and finally, she said to Chio. I will. Qin Dai's pale and full color, but also a touch of blood, said lightly. Best, you and Chimu Uyu will die together. Luo Sha looked at Chio and thought to herself. At this time, in the Cloud Shinobi battlefield, Cloud Shinobi village camp. Unexpectedly, that guy Onoki was defeated. Third Rakage grinned with his bare arms and large pieces of meat and wine on the table. That bastard with his head and tail is unpleasant to him a long time ago, and I didn't expect it to be folded in the hands of a junior. Third Rakage laughed loudly, and did not put Onoki and Uyu in his eyes at all in his words. I heard that Chimu Uyu is coming to the front line, father, you will give it to me to compare, I just want to meet him for a while, don't you, compare? Third Rakage's son, I, who inherited the name, I, squeezed his fist and said. Yes, brother. Killer B on the side, with a report accent, gave a thumbs up. Well, Chi Mu Yu is interesting. As Konoha, he respects our Cloud Shinobi village exercise method. After you defeat him, it is best to capture him alive. I want to see this funny kid with my own eyes. Third Rakage said with interest. Saiga Uyu, in the interior of Cloud Shinobi Village, is called, the cutest enemy. Because Iwagakur, 
whom Cloud Shinobi hates and despises, has no face in the hands of Kimu Yuyu. Coupled with the words, adorned, by Yuyu Saiga about their Cloud Shinobi village exercise method, the Cloud Shinobi are very happy. I will use Kimu Yuyu's most worship way to defeat him. Ai's face is arrogant, and his look is the same as that of Third Rakage. At this time, Konoha Cloud Shinobi camp is not far away. Finally, it's finally here. Kakashi looked at the silhouette of Konoha Daying not far away, tears coming out. These days, he is really miserable to ultimate. Since being designated by UYU as Azuki Yuyan sparring, he has been living in dire straits. The stab wound on his body, with Tsunade Sama, is even better. The wound is good. Because of this, Mao Yue Xian started to get heavier and heavier, almost killing him. Now, I finally arrived at the Konoha frontline camp, and the hard days are finally coming to an end. Huh, Minato on the side also breathed a sigh of relief. But Uyu, what a genius. On the way, Uyu finally gave him the ninjutsu. The ninjutsu named Rasengan made Minato admire Uyu as ultimate. This Muji ninjutsu, which is similar to the tailed beast bomb, can only be developed by Uyu, who has cut the tailed beast bomb countless times. At the same time, Minato was extremely moved. Muji ninjutsu, and it is a non-attribute Muji ninjutsu, which is even more precious than s rank ninjutsu. Although Uyu has a bad temper sometimes, but for himself, that is really nothing to say. Yuyu, I seem to be very interested in bear paws. The bear last time, because of its thick skin and thick flesh, let it run away. This time there is Rasengan. Minato secretly thought about how to repay Uyu. Crunch, Tsunade, are you interested in dried toads? Or, how about adding a snakeskin wallet? Yuyu looked at Konoha Daying in the distance, squeezing his fists, and grinning. I can do it. Tsunade thought of waiting for the tragic situation that Jiraiya and Orochimaru would face, but couldn't control it for a while, and laughed out loud. Konoha, Cloud Shinobi Camp. Jiraiya, Uyu, they have already arrived, let's meet them together. Don't worry, we will go there this time. Others can't see your misery. Orochimaru looked at Jiraiya with an expression of, I will consider for you, there was a gloat in the eyes of the snake, said hoarsely. The bastard Jiraiya, looking at his eyes these past few days, always makes Orochimaru feel inexplicably upset. And also like to say some strange things that are not marginal. Therefore, when Orochimaru received the news that Uyu and the others had arrived not far from the camp, he deliberately told Jiraiya the news. Hope to see his long-awaited look on his face. If this idiot begs himself, Orochimaru can't help Jiraiya say something nice in front of Uyu. Well, let's go together. Jiraiya looked at Orochimaru's glorious appearance, with a weird look in his eyes, and forced the corners of his upturned mouth to speak. If you don't want to go, what are you talking about? Orochimaru was halfway talking, and suddenly he was taken aback, thinking that he had heard it wrong. I said, let's pick Uyu together, Jiraiya said again. I can't run away anyway. Uyu guy, he won't hack me to death, right? Jiraiya looked at Orochimaru's face with a suspicious look, and said with a dry cough. Yuyu, I will definitely not be hacked to death, but you will definitely be hacked to death. Jiraiya looked at the gift in his hand and apologized to Uyu, and the look in Orochimaru's eyes was a little subtle. Orochimaru, the bastard who likes to see his own jokes, didn't even know that Uyu was here to trouble both of them this time. Wait for a while. Just accept it and give you Yu all the good things, and then give you Yu this apologetic gift. Compare it with Orochimaru, who doesn't know anything, and plans to watch a good show at that time. Who should you Yu kill? Won't this become clear all at once? Oh? Have you abandoned yourself? There was a smile in Orochimaru's snake eyes. But there is not too much doubt. After all, it is true that as Jiraiya said, even though Yu made harsh words, as long as Jiraiya was soft, he would not make multiple moves. At most, they suffer from a bit of flesh and blood. In fact, Orochimaru would like to see the scene where Jiraiya is not convinced. In that case, Uyu will definitely be more aggressive. What a pity. Looking at the apocalypse that Jiraiya was holding in his hand, Orochimaru's eyes were filled with regret. Jiraiya, it's so soft. How does he look like Orochimaru? Always a tough guy. Let's go, Jiraiya. Orochimaru sneered then turned and walked outside the camp gate. Wait, you can add a handful of materials. What if Jiraiya passes the test like this? This bastard, Tenton said something that upsets him these days. 
as the commander-in-chief of the front line, he can't do anything or fight with Jiraiya. Just let you why you clean up the bastard Jiraiya. I didn't even see the weird expression of Jiraiya who almost laughed behind Jiraiya's stubborn purple color. Konoha, Cloud Shinobi Battlefield Camp. As Cloud Shinobi village that respects military expansion, its military strength is second only to Konoha. Owns third rakage, two tails Jinchuriki and eight tails Jinchuriki, as well as I who inherited the name, I, and was selected as the next successor to rakage. Cloud Shinobi village is completely capable of breaking the wrist with Konoha. So on the front line of Cloud Shinobi, Konoha has concentrated most of the elite forces. It can be seen that the two of Sanin, Orochimaru and Jiraiya, and the previous Namikaze Minato were sent to the front line of Cloud Shinobi. Cloud Shinobi camp is also the strongest one ever built. After all, Cloud Shinobi village's brains are full of muscle lunatics. Who knows when they will go crazy, they will attack the front line camp. Master Uyu, is this our Konoha camp? Looking at the majestic Konoha camp, Uzu Shian who stepped on the battlefield for the first time, her pretty face was full of shock, and the ruddy little dog opened slightly, with a lovely feeling. Well, this is Konoha Daying. Yuyu, who was a little drunk along the way, looked at Shi Yan's cute expression and rubbed her purple hair fiercely, messing it up. Shi Yan Chao's face flushed, like a cute little cat, with a slightly enjoyable expression on her small face. Yuyu, they are here. Tsunade saw two figures walking out of Konoha Daying in a distance. When I saw Jiraiya holding a few bottles of fine wine, there were also a few rare game that had been peeled off. Look at Orochimaru aside, with a weird smile on his face and empty hands. Tsunade's expression suddenly became weird. Minato on the side was also dumbfounded. I wrote very clearly in the letter. Yuyu, it's trouble to find both Mr. Jiraiya and Lord Orochimaru. How do you feel that only Jiraiya-san knows about this, but Orochimaru-sama doesn't know it at all? Seeing that death, look on Master Orochimaru's face, Minato's mouth twitched unconsciously. Teacher Jiraiya, you really have it. Yuyu, Tsunade, welcome to Konoha Frontline Camp. Orochimaru's throat was hoarse, his host welcoming guests. Yuyu, Jiraiya, I will bring you, just teach him. Orochimaru's snake pupil turned around, and said with jealousy. Snake player, you have been doing pretty well these days. Yu Yu's slightly sullen eyes narrowed slightly. Is this snake playing bastard provoking himself? Orochimaru shuddered all over, and his whole hair was upside down. A feeling of danger spread all over Orochimaru's body, and Orochimaru looked at him with a dangerous look in Yu Yu's face. Didn't you come to trouble Jiraiya? Why are you staring at yourself? Difficult, is it? Orochimaru, turning his neck mechanically, saw Jiraiya's weird expression. Yu Yu. I told Orochimaru a long time ago and asked him to actively admit his mistake, and then prepare and apologize to you. But this guy doesn't listen at all. He doesn't think it is a mistake that he didn't tell you the truth about Cloud Shinobi. Yu Yu. That incident is indeed my fault. This is the wine and game I prepared for you. You will definitely like it. Jiraiya said with a smile and crow's feet. Looking at Jiraiya. Minato had a chill. Teacher Jiraiya, so disgusting. And Orochimaru, after listening to Jiraiya's words, his face turned green. Jiraiya, the bastard, actually cheated himself. Labor and management have never finished with you. Then, a feeling of danger spread all over Orochimaru's body. You dare to play snake bastard, Chong, huh? Accompanied by the astonishing sound of the sword, Chu Shui's black blade turned into a black line and severely cut it towards Orochimaru. Ba, Orochimaru rolled around on the ground a little embarrassed, but his clothes were cut with a huge hole. The pale abdomen was revealed. Yu Yu, I don't have. Orochimaru came out with a cold sweat. This is the mercy of Yu Yu's men, otherwise the knife will have to crack him. But looking at the drunkenness on Yu Yu's face, Orochimaru felt flustered. Although Yu Yu itself shouldn't make heavy moves. But what if you get drunk? Or is it happy? I chose that gem shui treasure place for Jiraiya in Ryuchi Cave, so I can't use it anymore. Thinking of this, Orochimaru trembled all over and explained quickly. But I have already identified Orochimaru, not only did not admit his mistakes, but also mocked his own UYU, and did not listen to Orochimaru Dobibi at all. Raising his hand as three knives down again, boom. Suddenly, three black and purple slashes roared out, along the outline of Orochimaru's body almost brushing against Orochimaru's skin. The terrible sword pressure passed by, making Orochimaru stiff. 
Orochimaru understands that this is a warning. If you stubbornly resist, next time, these slashes will not be your whole body. Jiraiya, you bastard. Orochimaru kept roaring in his heart. Jiraiya, deliberately deceived herself. He didn't even know that Yuyu was also looking for trouble with him. As a result, the self who was kept in the dark showed a provocative expression in front of Yuyu. Isn't this looking for death? But it's useless to say anything now, let's pass Yuyu's level first. I remember that when Yuyu took the Chunin exam, he almost cut himself off as a spy. Thinking of Yuyu now, but having been able to catch the tail beast alive and defeat the superpower of Onogi, Orochimaru's mouth kept twitching. The most important thing is that Yuyu is still drinking too much now. This time, it's really planted, huh? Then he watched the jet black scabbard thrown at him, and Orochimaru's face turned green. Yuyu in Konoha is recognized as poor wine. If Yuyu who did not drink alcohol, the risk is 1. Then Yuyu, who drank alcohol, had a risk of 100. If you have to resist Yuyu when you drink too much, then what awaits you will be extremely miserable. On the contrary, if you obediently give up, you can still escape when Yuyu feels boring. Yes, don't say anything, get beaten up. Orochimaru's arms guarded all the vitals, quietly waiting for the torrential rain to come. Slap slap slap, the scabbard fell on Orochimaru's body like raindrops, and even Orochimaru, who is known as the immortal body, his sore cheeks twitched. Yuyu, who intends to teach Orochimaru a lesson, although not as ruthless as Lao Zi, but they also used armament hockey. This kind of pain that goes deep into the soul is not so tolerable. But Orochimaru, who wants a face, was beaten by Yuyu, but he must not scream in front of that idiot Jiraiya. Snakes, the skin is very hard, they don't even call it? Yuyu looked at Orochimaru stiffly, and Yuyu, who wanted to keep a bit of strength, was suddenly upset. Special, you dare not bark? This is simply defeating one's own interest. Tons tons tons. Yuyu took out a bottle of wine and drank it all, with a ruthless look in his eyes. Yuyu doesn't believe it, Orochimaru can't be called today. With a loud noise, the scabbard covering armament hockey was slammed on Orochimaru's back. Wow. It was not at the same level as before, and the pain that went deep into the soul caused Orochimaru to scream uncontrollably. At the same time, the heart is extremely sad and angry, don't you want to be beaten? Yuyu, it's so cruel. Jiraiya, you wait for me. Orochimaru, you bastard deserved it. The guy who likes to watch jokes should end up like this. Jiraiya watched Orochimaru being violently beaten by Yuyu, and he was happy to bloom, smiling like a chrysanthemum. Teacher, do you really think Yuyu will be deceived by you? Minato looked at the teacher's smug expression and couldn't bear it. He poked Jiraiya's arm and said with a weird face. My teacher, how much did Yuyu suffer because of his own cleverness? Isn't your memory still up? Jiraiya's triumphant expression froze suddenly, looking at Minato's weird expression, he came down with a cold sweat. At this time, Orochimaru's screams disappeared. Crunch crunch, Jiraiya twisted her neck mechanically, and turned her head to see a pair of red eyes. White-haired bastard, you dare to be too. Yuyu looked at Jiraiya, grinned, and smiled. No, 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 no. Jiraiya trembled all over, looking at the red light in Yuyu's eyes, his tongue was knotted. Huh, the black palms glowing with metallic light grabbed Jiraiya's shoulders and threw Jiraiya away. Boom. Suddenly, Jiraiya fell beside Orochimaru in a posture of a dog-eating shit. Swish. 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 Then, the jet-black scabbard fell on Jiraiya's body like raindrops. Wow. Jiraiya screamed suddenly. Bah. Orochimaru who was watching was extremely relieved, and laughed uncontrollably. Oh? Snakes, can you still laugh? It seems that I acted too lightly. Yuyu's voice reached Orochimaru's ears, causing his pale cheeks to twitch. Before he could explain, the scabbard fell on Orochimaru's body. Wow. What? Suddenly, the screams of Jiraiya and Orochimaru formed a special symphony, causing Tsunade not far away to squat on the ground with a smile. These two idiots like to count each other, and they count on Yuyu's head, but both of them are unlucky, right? Enter. Cloud Shinobi Battlefield, Konoha Front Line Camp. Yes, Lord Yuyu, Lord Orochimaru and Lord Jiraiya, what happened to them? After receiving Tsunade's order, several Konoha Jonins who had taken two stretchers from the camp, looked at Jiraiya and Orochimaru who were lying on the ground, grinning, and a drop of cold sweat slipped from their foreheads. 
How come Orochimaru-sama and Jiraiya-sama came to pick up Uyu-sama and made it look like this? It's almost like being beaten up by someone violently. They haven't seen me for too long. They were so excited that they fell. Yuyu took a sip of wine and grinned. Orochimaru and Jiraiya watched Uyu open his eyes and talk nonsense, and the corners of their mouths twitched. Then the two sides glanced at each other, and with a cold snort, each looked away, touching the wound on their back, grinning. Jiraiya, you wait for me. Orochimaru and Jiraiya each roared in their hearts. Had it not been for the calculation of the other party, would they have been taught this way by Uyu? As for Uyu who beat them, Jiraiya and Orochimaru are automatically ignored. Yuyu, this little bastard, is getting more and more terrifying in strength. Their current strength is really not enough in front of Uyu. And it's true that they thought carefully before they were beaten, that's nothing to say. But the persimmon was soft and pinched, since Uyu can't afford it. Both Jiraiya and Orochimaru put the fault on each other's heads. So it fell like this. The corners of their mouths twitched when the several Konoha Janin carrying the stretcher heard Yuyu's words. Seeing Master Jia and Master Orochimaru who were lying on the ground unable to move, they choked silently. Who were Orochimaru and Jiraiya? That is the legendary, Sanin. The ninjas who led Konoha withstood the attack of Third Rakage and two Jinchuriki on the front line. Would such a strong man fall like this in one fell swoop? But a few people didn't dare to say more. The Lord Uyu in front of him, that's a terrible name. In Iwagakure and Sanagakure, Lord Uyu's name can stop children from crying. He glanced at each other immediately, carried Jiraiya and Orochimaru onto the stretcher, and walked into the camp. Tsunade, Tsunade, how long will our injury take? Jiraiya, who was carried on the stretcher, looked ashamed. He had already become a hero on the front line of Cloud Shinobi before, but when Uyu came, he went directly on the stretcher. However, Jiraiya still resisted the shame in his heart and turned to ask Tsunade. He is the deputy commander on the front line, and there are still many things that need to be handled by him. Orochimaru, who was on the side, also pricked his ears. Jiraiya is the deputy commander, he is the commander in chief of the front. As a result, when Uyu came, his commander in chief and Jiraiya the deputy commander got on a stretcher together. Thinking of fighting with Cloud Shinobi Village for so long, he and Jiraiya were almost unharmed. As a result, when Uyu came, they got on the stretcher and Orochimaru's mouth twitched. Old man, you bastard. Why did you send Uyu to the Cloud Shinobi battlefield? Orochimaru is full of resentment and is no longer called Serutobi teacher. In your case, lying down for five or six days is almost the same. Tsunade estimated it, and smiled. Five, six days. Orochimaru and Jiraiya twitched, but they still didn't say anything. Although it is a bit long, it is not unacceptable. Then Orochimaru-sama and Jiraiya-sama, aren't they incapable of dealing with the frontline camp these days? If Cloud Shinobi comes to attack at this time. A Konoha Janin said with some worry. Orochimaru-sama and Jiraiya-sama are the two pillars of the Konoha frontline. If they both fall, what about Cloud Shinobi Village's aggressive attack? When Orochimaru and Jiraiya heard this, the corners of their mouths slightly cocked, and their hearts felt refreshed. How good is Uyu? Can it replace our position on the front line of Konoha? At that time, are you still going to fight Cloud Shinobi under their command? Thinking of this, Orochimaru and Jiraiya have an inexplicable pleasure, and they have already planned how to use Uyu in their minds. Stupid. Yuyu Sama has come to the battlefield. Why are you worried about Cloud Shinobi? I am still afraid that the Cloud Shinobi guys will hear the news of Uyu Sama's arrival and dare not come out. Then we must no longer spend with them on the battlefield? Another Konoha Janin looked at Uyu with admiration and said. This is not all flattery, after all, in today's ninja world, Yuyu's reputation is too high. In the battlefield of San Shinobi, going deep into Sanagakure alone, cutting Sanagakure in half, San Shinobi Anbu was almost completely destroyed by the hands of Lord Uyu, and even the elder Chio was seriously injured. With one's own strength, Sanagakure was forced to retreat. In the Rock Shinobi battlefield, Lord Uyu severely injured third Suchikage Onoki and captured four tails and five tails Jinchuriki alive. With his own efforts, Iwagakure had to let the Daimyofu of the Country of Soil come forward to mediate, and Konoha won the greatest victory since the establishment of the Shinobu system. Lord Uyu is synonymous with God of War in the third ninja battle. After fighting with Cloud Shinobi on the front line for so long, they were already exhausted physically and mentally. 
Although Orochimaru-sama and Jiraiya-sama are also strong, they can't have the slightest advantage against Cloud Shinobi's third rakage and Jinchuriki. The battle has become a war of attrition. No one knows whether they will die on the battlefield before the end of the war. But Master Yuyu has come to the battlefield of Cloud Shinobi, it is completely different. The battle loss ratio between Iwagakure and Sanagakure is incredibly low. In order to boost morale, Konoha had already said these two victories over and over again on the front line of Cloud Shinobi. Yuyu Sama will definitely lead them to end the war as quickly as possible and return to Konoha. So for the arrival of Yuyu, all the Konoha Shinobi players on the front line are very happy. Yes, how did I forget about it? Konoha Janin, who was still worried just now, was suddenly shocked and looked at Yuyu admiringly. Yuyu Sama is here, what else are Orochimaru Sama and Jiraiya Sama? On the other hand, Jiraiya and Orochimaru have green faces. These bastards. What a conscience. The two of them have been leading them on the front line for so long, is it still not enough for you why you to just come to the reputation of Cloud Shinobi Village? They also achieved a lot of results in the Cloud Shinobi battlefield, okay? For example, if the two of them are on the front line of Cloud Shinobi, they just. But Orochimaru and Jiraiya thought about it for a long time, and they didn't expect anything comparable to Yuyu's record. After all, Yuyu's record is something that no one has ever achieved since Konoha built his own village. Even if it was the second war of ninja, Konoha's white fang, Konoha's first hero, as far from being compared with Yuyu. As for the results of the two of them, Orochimaru and Jiraiya looked at each other, feeling unspeakable. It's okay. When I am done, I'll be the commander in chief on the front line. Then I will command Yuyu to fight Cloud Shinobi. Orochimaru and Jiraiya comforted themselves in their hearts. Wu. Master Tsunade, Master Yuyu, Master Orochimaru, Master Jiraiya, Master Minato. When several people returned to Konoha camp, a figure suddenly appeared, kneeling respectfully on one knee, and said respectfully. What's the matter? Tsunade looked at the visitor and asked. It's an order from Konoha. Master Naruto ordered that if something happens to Master Jiraiya and Master Orochimaru, Master Tsunade will take over as the commander-in-chief of the front line. The leader of Konoha's intelligence team looked at Orochimaru and Jiraiya lying on the stretcher with a strange expression. After he deciphered this order, he wondered if he had deciphered it incorrectly. Lord Jiraiya and Lord Orochimaru, before Lord Yuyu and Lord Tsunade came to the battlefield, led them to fight Cloud Shinobi Village without any injuries. Now, Tsunade-sama, Yuyu-sama, and Minato-sama are also on the battlefield. How could there be an accident? He felt that his deciphering was wrong, and he checked it again three or four times before he was sure that he had no deciphering mistakes. When I came to the door, I saw Master Orochimaru and Master Jiraiya. There was an accident. Then the Konoha Shinobi who were present blinked their eyes and looked strangely at Orochimaru and Jiraiya with their stiff faces. Naruto-sama, how did you know in advance that Orochimaru-sama and Jiraiya-sama would have an accident? Orochimaru and Jiraiya started twitching from the corners of their mouths, and then their entire faces began to twitch violently. Old man. You bastard. Jiraiya and Orochimaru roared in their hearts, and they were about to explode in frustration. Their unscrupulous teacher is very deliberate. For the mistakes I made, my two disciples finally had to pay for it. It's all right now. Not only was you beaten by Uyu, but the command was also gone. Then there would be no way to experience the pleasure of commanding Uyu. Now Jiraiya and Orochimaru, can T wait to return to Konoha now and fight with Serutobi Hirazan. Okay, you can take care of your injuries, and you should take care of those careful thoughts. You have been beaten so badly, don't you have a long memory? Be careful, you why you took the knife and chopped you down. Tsunade looked at Jiraiya and Orochimaru's suffocated expressions that were about to explode. Tsunade knew what his two teammates were thinking too much, and said with a laugh. In fact, Orochimaru and Jiraiya's injuries are not too serious, but the injuries caused by Yuyu's mysterious energy, even if she uses medical ninjutsu, are not so easy to treat. This is because Yuyu has recovered all that energy, otherwise, Jiraiya and Orochimaru will have to lie down for more than half a month. If you count on Yuyu again, the next time Yuyu will not be so easy to talk. If Yuyu took a knife and slashed, Jiraiya and Orochimaru would have to lie down for a few months at least. But when I think of Jiraiya and Orochimaru's physique and strength, Yuyu is still merciful and has to cultivate for so long. Thinking of Yuyu knocking Udatane Kaharu into a coma before, Tsunade's mouth twitched a little. 
Udatane Kaharu, it seems that they haven't woken up when they set off. Don't be really beaten to death by UYU, right? Udatane Kaharu is not a good stubble. The previous suicide incidents of Shumo Sen had the shadow of Udatane Kaharu. Tsunade's eyes flickered. For Tsunade, who is hanging on UYU by Ishin, UU's affairs are the most important thing. But when Tsunade moved his gaze to UYU, he immediately let go of his heart. If Udatane Kaharu is not a good stubble, then the man she likes is simply Konoha bully. Udatane Kaharu was in front of UYU, it was really not enough. And with her Tsunade, it's not so easy to calculate UYU. After hearing Tsunade's words, UYU glanced at Jiraiya and Orochimaru who were lying on the stretcher. These two bastards were beaten by themselves, still thinking about something bad? It seems that I have to beat it. Jiraiya and Orochimaru noticed Yuyu's dangerous gaze, and the corners of their mouth twitched and stopped talking. Indeed, as Tsunade said, if they calculate Yuyu again, even if it is a small calculation, then it will be countless times worse than it is now. Glancing at each other, Orochimaru and Jiraiya suddenly reached a consensus. Heal your wounds first, and then when the war is over, go back and settle accounts with the old man. At this time, Udatane Kaharu, who was remembered by Tsunade, had just regained consciousness. Konoha village, turned to a clan land, water. Udatane Kaharu opened his eyes laboriously, and his chapped lips moved. Consultant, you finally woke up. The people on the side hurriedly handed Udatane Kaharu water, and they were relieved to see Udatane Kaharu drink the water. Elder turning to bed, are your legs conscious now? Beside, a medical ninja asked with a serious face. Legs? Udatane Kaharu was taken aback for a moment, and then with his mind he wanted to move his legs as usual. But I feel that my legs, including the entire waist, are empty. Me. What am I? Udatane Kaharu was frightened and angry. He opened the quilt and looked at his unconscious legs with a panic on his face. It was caused by Chimu Yuyu's energy, and there is still a little hope, but if it is still in this situation after three months, then. The medical ninja said half of it, and did not continue. But the meaning is obvious, Udatane Kaharu, it is likely that the second half of his life will be spent in a wheelchair. Chimu, UYU. Udatane Kaharu was taken aback for a moment, then his eyes were red, like a ghost crawling out of hell. I want to kill you, Udatane Kaharu let out a roar. The elders around responded one after another. Chimu UYU, this bully who is completely unruly and dared to beat Udatane Kaharu in public has become a confidant of their elders. Chim Yuyu has become the first goal of their elders group. Konoha, turn to the family land, hoo hoo. After the roar, Udatane Kaharu's complexion was a little pale, sweat kept dripping, and his old eyes were full of bloodshot eyes, looking extremely hideous. Chim Yuyu, where are you now? Udatane Kaharu asked bitterly. Seiki Yuyu has gone to the Cloud Shinobi battlefield. Mitokado Homura's complexion is also very ugly, said. Cloud Shinobi Battlefield? Udatane Kaharu's doe twitched. This is bad news for Udatane Kaharu. Although Udatane Kaharu can't wait for Uyu Saiga to die on the Cloud Shinobi Battlefield, judging from the horror record of Uyu Saiga on the Sand Shinobi Battlefield and Rock Shinobi Battlefield, the probability of Uyu accident on the Cloud Shinobi Battlefield is almost zero. On the contrary, the performance in the Cloud Shinobi Battlefield will make Uyu Saiki's prestige in Konoha rise again. This time the elders suffered such a big loss, and the reason why Chimu Uyu could not be arrogant was because he had just returned with a big victory. And there are Serutobi Hirazan, Tsunade and others to Saiga Uyu platform. In this context, there is no way for Chimu Uyu to act. What Udatane Kaharu hopes now is for Uyu Saiga to stay quietly behind. Then their elders can create new heroes in the next war. In this way, Chimu Uyu's influence can be quickly reduced. People are the most forgetful. There are new heroes. The previous ones are not to be completely forgotten, but at least their attention will be diverted. In this way, their elders can make plans to deal with Chimu Uyu. But now, Chimu Uyu heads to the Cloud Shinobi battlefield, and the elders have no way to take Chimu Uyu in a short time. Rather, it depends on its brilliance and glory on the Cloud Shinobi battlefield. This made Udatane Kaharu somewhat unacceptable. He was even at risk of being paralyzed by Chimu Uyu. Instead, the bastard ran to the Cloud Shinobi battlefield, enjoying himself in the spring breeze. Homura, 
let the fire country Daimyofu issue an order to let Serutobi transfer Uyu Saiga back to Konoha on the grounds of commendation. Utatane Kaharu gradually calmed down the grievances in his heart, and his brain worked quickly, and said calmly. Although in this way, transferring Chimu Uyu back to Konoha will further expand its influence. But it is only temporary. As long as they continue to promote the new hero in the war, Chimu Yuyu's influence in the subsequent war, it will slowly decrease. Even if Chimu Yuyu's influence reaches a new peak now, Udatane Kaharu can accept it. As the senior consultants of Konoha village, Udatane Kaharu and Maitokado Homura are themselves the two agents of Daimyofu in the country of fire in Konoha. It has maintained extremely close contact with the Daiming mansion of the country of fire. Even in the political circle of Fireland, Udatane Kaharu and Maitokado Homura have deep influence. In the past few days, I have told the story of this incident to the Da Ming mansion of the country of fire. Maitokado Homura looked ugly, his mouth moved, and said somewhat depressed. Huh. What did you say over there? Looking at Maitokado Homura's complexion, Udatane Kaharu asked with a bad feeling in his heart. The country of fire Daimyo is busy negotiating with the Daimyo of the land of land for compensation. Because of the bowing of the head on the land of land, the Daimyo of the land of fire is going up and down, and Uyu Chimu takes it seriously. The information sent to me by the Fireland Daiming Mansion only knows to make ends meet, and even said that we should regard peace as the most important thing, and let Chimu Uyu continue to create war exploits on the battlefield. The fellow Serutobi, in the name of Chimu Uyu, went to the Daiming Mansion of the Country of Fire to ask for the special gluten of the Daiming Mansion, and the great name of the Country of Fire had approved it. Maitokado Homura said with an ugly face, These days, Udatane Kaharu is in a coma. As the second person in this faction, of course he is not idle. The next day, Maitokado Homura sued the Daimyo Prefecture of the Fire Country for the atrocities of Chimu Uyu, and hoped that the Daimyo Prefecture of the Fire Country would come forward and let Konoha punish Uyu Chimu severely. However, the feedback received made Maitokado Homura extremely annoyed. The famous mansion of the Country of Fire, because of the bowing of the famous mansion of the Country of Earth, rejoiced and was immersed in ecstasy. After all, I don't know how many years, and none of the five major countries bowed their heads to each other. Owning the most fertile land in the fire country, which is the largest ninja village in the ninja world, it is natural that he is the number one country. But it has not been recognized by the other four powers. But this time, the bow of the Daiming Mansion of the Land of Land made the Land of Fire extremely ecstatic. So for Chimu Uyu, who created all of this, all the people in the fire country Daiming Mansion are very fond of them. Even if there was such a thing as the beating of Udatane Kaharu, the Da Mingfu of the Country of Fire was just around, and there was no meaning to be held accountable. He also persuaded Maitokado Homura to make harmony the most important thing. They also thought that Chimu Uyu would make another good record on the battlefield, and that it would be better to bring other big powers to mediate. In that way, their Country of Fire is truly the largest country. It's more expensive to make peace. Those bastards who only think about themselves. The more Udatane Kaharu listened, the darker his face. In the end, the pitch black was as charcoal, and he yelled. I was so peculiar that I was almost paralyzed by Chimu Uyu. Do you still make peace? Kaharu, please feel at ease to heal your wounds. When the war is over, we have time to deal with Chimu Uyu. Maitokado Homura looked very ugly as he listened to Udatane Kaharu's roar. But still persuade. They do take Chimu Uyu now, and there is no way. Only after the war is over, we can find a way to deal with Chimu Uyu. This matter is not over, Chimu Uyu, you wait for me. Udatane Kaharu's expression was extremely bitter, and he roared. At the same time, a secret underground prison in Konoha. Tick tick, water droplets fell on the ground, making a sound, and the dark tunnels corresponded to the surrounding candlelights, making people creepy. Da da, a clear footstep suddenly sounded and a figure holding a cane slowly walked to the front of a sealed iron door. Crack crack, isn't it time for dinner? Konoha bastards. Along with the sound of the iron chain, a deep voice sounded. Introduce yourself. I'm Konoha's Hokage assistant, Danzo. The figure raised her head and looked at the iron gate. The two figures bound by layers of iron chains said lightly. Danzo? Konoha's Naruto assistant? Lao Zi raised his head, looked at the incoming person, and said faintly. The Han on the side also raised his head and looked at Danzo. Lao Zi and Han had heard of this guy who had been active in the Second Ninja World War and did a lot of dirty things. 
Yes, it seems that you still know my reputation. Donzo's mouth curled up slightly and said lightly. Prestige? Do you dare to open our chain and seal technique? It seems that Chimu Uyu is no longer in Konoha, right? The corner of Lao Zi's mouth evoked a hint of sarcasm, and said lightly. A few days ago, he and Han were suddenly moved here, and they put heavy chains on them, as well as the seal technique to control the tail beast chakra. You know, a few days ago, they were randomly thrown into a room with nothing on them. So Lao Zi and Han immediately understood that the monster was no longer in Konoha. Konoha, who didn't have that monster, began to fear the tail beast in their bodies and imprisoned them here. As for what Danzo said in front of him, his own prestige. Compared to that monster, it's just shit. If this guy dared to open the bondage between himself and Han, they could kill this Danzo in minutes. A mouse playing dirty tricks, he didn't pay attention to Lao Zi at all. Donzo's face suddenly sank when he heard Yu Yu's name. For Yu Y Yu, he hates it. He also understood what Lao Zi meant. His reputation with them is far inferior to Chi Mu Yu Y Yu. This makes Danzo, who has always been proud of himself as the darkness of Konoha, and is completely unacceptable. I won't say more nonsense, Yu Chi Mu Yu Y Yu, hate it, right? Danzo calmed down and said lightly. The purpose of his coming here is not to be angry. Old Z and Han were imprisoned here by the order of Serutobi Hirazan. Danzo did a great job in order to come here without knowing it. And he only has less than half an hour, no time to talk nonsense with these two Jinchuriki. Hearing that name, Lao Z and Han suddenly fell silent and lowered their heads, as if covering up their emotions. As long as you promise to work for me, I will let you take revenge on Chimu Uyu. Danzo was overjoyed when he saw this, and continued. Sure enough, as he expected, Chimu Uyu was captured here alive, and the two Jinchuriki who lived the life of prisoners, Chimu Uyu had already hated them to their bones. As long as you use Chimu Uyu as bait, you are not afraid that these two Jinchuriki will not be caught obediently. Why should we trust you? Lao Zi suddenly raised his head, looked at Danzo, and said solemnly. You, you can only choose me. Yu Yu Seiki is third Hokage, Serutobi Hirazan's direct line, Serutobi Hirazan values. Yu Y Yu Seiki very much, if you use it for Serutobi Hirazan, then there will never be a chance for revenge. And inside Konoha, apart from the Hokage series, only I have the ability to let you take revenge on Chimu Yu Y Yu. I believe you have heard of the organization route, and besides route, I have many other powers in my hands, such as wood style. Donzo's mouth curled up slightly and said proudly, Wood style? The one from first Hokage? Lao Zi and Han were shocked and looked at Danzo in disbelief. Wood style, as the first Hokage known as the God of Ninja, as the establishment of Konoha village, Senju Hashirama's blood inheritance boundary is known to everyone in the ninja world. It can be said that Wood style is a terrifying blood succession boundary beyond Sharingan, which is now known as the first blood succession limit of the ninja world. Unfortunately, since first Hokage, no one has been able to awaken this terrifying blood inheritance boundary. But even after so long, wood style is still synonymous with invincibility. And most importantly, the tail beast in their body was caught by first Hokage using wood style. Yes, wood style by first Hokage. How about? Would you like to play for me? Donzo's mouth curled up slightly and said faintly. Interesting, if you really have wood style, we are willing to cooperate with you. But after solving Chimu Uyu, we have to set us free. Lao Zi and Han looked at each other and said one after another. No problem, then, you have to stay here for a while. I will find a way to save you as soon as possible. After getting the answer he wanted, Danzo smiled with satisfaction, and after faintly saying a word, he leaned on his crutches and slowly disappeared into the darkness, very compelling. Tick tick, haha, want to fight against that monster? This guy named Danzo is crazy. After confirming that Danzo was gone, Lao Zi and Han looked at each other, then laughed, and tears came out at the end of the laugh. Go against the monster Chimu Uyu. The two of them are not crazy yet. That's what it means to find death. Moreover, the four tails and five tails in their bodies now tremble at the mention of Chimu Uyu's name. Face Chimu Uyu, four tails and five tails will not even lend chakra to them, for fear that Chimu Uyu will get out of their bodies and hack them to death. It can be said that four tails and five tails are now very fast becoming Chimu Yuyu's pets. Let them do whatever they want. What about wood style? Is there that monster scary? Old Z, what do you think? Why did you agree to Danzo? 
At this time, Han asked the doubts in his heart. It was Lao Zi who gave him a hint just now, and he agreed. Promise first. If that Danzo can really release us, when Danzo is about to deal with the monster, we will solve Danzo first. This is also considered a credit, because that monster might beat us a few times less because of this. Lao Zi shrank her neck and said with a look of fear. That monster beating people was really too cruel. Had it not been for Four Tails Chakra to treat him continuously, he would have been beaten to death by that monster. And that kind of mysterious energy hit them, it was too painful. It was an experience that was more painful than death. Yes, it makes sense. When Han heard this, he also remembered the miserable experience of being beaten by the monster along the way, his whole body trembled and his expression was terrified. Ohm, at this moment, Lao Zi and Han suddenly felt that the tail beast chakra in his body began to riot. Oh? Can you contribute to Chi Mu Yu Is that the bastard named Danzo? The voice of Four Tails came from Lao Zi's body. Four Tails, don't fight with me. I want to spray Danzo into steam and make this contribution. You were only cut by Chimu Yu I was almost killed by him. And you can even set off fireworks for Chimu Yu What if Chimu Yu sees me upset and kills me? The voice of Five Tails came from Han's body. HMPH, for this credit, let's all look at our abilities, Lao Zi. You must start faster then, understand. Four Tails roared at Old Z. Han, I'm good to you, right? You must take this credit, and then use the tailed beast bomb to blow Danzo to me. Five tails roared at the Han, his eyes flushed. Yeah. Lao Zi and Han looked at each other and nodded silently. Danzo. You are so dead. Just when Utatane Kaharu and others were incompetent and furious, Danzo thought that they had won two Jinchuriki, and Lao Zi and Han Mokuan Huohuo were about to tear Danzo into pieces and offer them to UYU. Cloud Shinobi Battlefield, Kona Hadaying. Tsunade sits above the main seat. Next to Tsunade, UYU sits carelessly, with Iwagakur's most precious wine in front of him, and there are countless mountain and game dishes on the table. And Jiraiya and Orochimaru are sitting next to each other. After four or five days of cultivation, although he still can't move freely, he can still do some tasks while sitting down. In the big tent, a cloud shinobi Jonin stands here. You said, what are you here for? Yu Yu puckered out his ears and confirmed. Our Lord Rakage knows that you admire our Cloud Shinobi village cultivation method, so we plan to let Lord Rakage's son, Lord I, fight with you. This is a battle book. Cloud Shinobi Jonin said proudly, holding a battle book in his hand. Jiraiya and Orochimaru looked at this extremely courageous Cloud Shinobi with extremely strange expressions. Tired of this stuff, right? Interesting. Yu Yu grinned when he heard the words and took a sip of the bottle of wine in front of you. Huh, suddenly. Yu turned into an afterimage and appeared beside the cloud shinobi Jonin. You, what are you doing? A flash of astonishment flashed in cloud shinobi Jonin's eyes. He didn't even notice the man's movements just now, and then he appeared next to him. If this person wanted to kill himself, wouldn't he be killed in an instant? Chi Mu Yu Yu is a well deserved name. Most of the arrogance in this cloud shinobi Jonin's heart dissipated, but he was still not too nervous. The so called battle between the two armies, do not cut the enemy, besides, he still comes from the powerful Cloud Shinobi village. Chi Mu Yu Yu, never dare to do anything to him. You said you were Jonin from Cloud Shinobi village? How strong is it? Yu Yu looked at the bulging muscles of this Cloud Shinobi Jonin, his eyes lightened, and asked. Huh. I can count as a Jonin in Cloud Shinobi village. Once Iwagakure, two Jonin died at my hands. The people of Cloud Shinobi Village never knew what humility is, and even praised the results of the battle. I saw this Cloud Shinobi Jonin lift his chin and said proudly. Oh? Jonin's strength should be enough, just to test it. Yu Yu nodded, he was afraid that this guy was a waste specializing in transmitting information. In that case, there were not many attribute points and no reference value. Yu, what are you talking about? Cloud Shinobi Jonin looked at Yu Yu's eyes, suddenly feeling flustered, and asked dryly. Bang bang bang. Yu Yu didn't compare with Cheeto at all, picked up the scabbard and slapped the Cloud Shinobi Jonin's muscles. His, are you all from Cloud Shinobi village of this figure? Cloud Shinobi Jonin only felt a sharp pain, and when he was about to question, he heard the man in front of him ask. The confidence in his heart suddenly exploded, and it seems that the rumors are correct, Chimu Yu Yu, very longing for their practice in Cloud Shinobi village. If this is the case, 
then I should spread the knowledge to this ignorant guy. Of course, we are the ninjas of Cloud Shinobi Village, but the real tough guys, each of them has an extremely good physique, combined with lightning style, our Cloud Shinobi Village is invincible on the battlefield. Cloud Shinobi Jonan said proudly at first, but the more he said it, the more he felt that the man in front of him looked wrong. It was as if the hungry wolf looked at its prey. Cloud Shinobi Village, great place. Yu Yu grinned, his eyes gleaming. You have to do. Brush, the scalp of this Cloud Shinobi Jonan was a little numb when Yu Yu looked at it, and then only a cold light appeared. His expression suddenly froze. Puff. A red line appeared on Cloud Shinobi Jonan's neck, and his eyes were full of incredible colors. Why, why? The Cloud Shinobi Jonan opened his mouth, but made no sound. Because his voice has been completely cut off. He really didn't understand why the man in front of him smiled and talked to himself just now, and cut himself off in the next second. I am the messenger of Cloud Shinobi Village, isn't he afraid that Cloud Shinobi Village will smash it into pieces? And that knife. Dot too fast. Cloud Shinobi Jonan, who was thinking about it, suddenly felt a sharp pain in his soul, his eyes went dark, and he completely lost consciousness. Ding. Kill Cloud Shinobi Jonan after drinking. Ding. Kendo comprehension plus 15. Ding. Physical plus 40. The system prompt sounded in Yuyu's mind. Diarysis, sure enough, it is much better than Iwagakur's trash. When Yuyu saw the added attribute points, he was immediately overjoyed. This person is nothing more than an ordinary Jonin in Cloud Shinobi Village. He has more physique points than the elite Jonin who slashed Iwagakur. So how many physique points will be gained by slashing that third rakage, known as the humanoid tail beast, that can fight with eight tails? There are also a lot of Jonin, elite Jonin. When you think that there are countless physique points in Cloud Shinobi Village waiting for you to obtain, Yu Yu's eyes light up. Yu Yu glanced at Tsunade who was sitting on the main seat, and couldn't restrain the smile from the corner of his mouth. It is not far from the time to revive the family ethos. Seeing Cloud Shinobi Jonin, whom Yu Yu was still laughing with in the previous second, the next second he was in a different place. Orochimaru and Jiraiya looked at each other and shuddered. This is so cruel. They wanted to use Yu Yu to teach each other before. Not being hacked to death by Yu Yu, I was so lucky to be home. Especially Orochimaru. Orochimaru felt that he was already considered a bad name, and was even called Cold Kun by the enemy ninja because of his coldness and killing. But compared to Yu Yu, I am so kind. Kill yourself, at least the other party knows that he wants to kill him, but Yu Yu hacked someone. Maybe you were talking to Yu Yu in the last second, and the knife went through your neck in the next second. This kind of brutal monster, you still don't want to provoke it. A drop of sweat was left on Orochimaru's forehead. As for Yu Yu hacking the messenger of Cloud Shinobi Village to death, not many people were surprised. No one who dared to talk to Yu Yu like this has survived. The difference is how to die. Yu Yu doesn't care if you are the messenger of Cloud Shinobi Village. Cloud Shinobi Battlefield, Cloud Shinobi Camp. Boom. With a loud noise, the table in front of Third Rakage suddenly fell apart. Can you say that again? Third Rakage had scarlet eyes, like an enraged beast. He shouted at Cloud Shinobi Jonin, who was kneeling down. Chi. Chi Mu Yu Yu beheaded the Takayama Jonin who was going to send the warbook, and then sent his head back, and. Also. The Cloud Shinobi Jonin spoke, but he dared not say any more. What more, say? Ba ba, Third Rakage roared, thunderous. I also said to take your head from Master Rakage. The Cloud Shinobi Jonin tremblingly said, Boom. Bastard stuff. The terrifying chakra turned into a violent thunder. Thunderlight soared into the sky, blasting around scorched earth around Third Rakage. Third Rakage's eyes were blood red, and his expression was terrifying, and he let out a roar. The Gaoshan Jonin he sent, although he went to write the battle, but went in the name of the messenger of Cloud Shinobi Village. Even if he led Cloud Shinobi Village to the territory of Tujakuni, the messenger he sent, Onoki, did not dare to move the slightest. As a result, Chimu Yu actually cut people directly? He also sent his head back, threatening to take his own head. This is simply hitting their Cloud Shinobi Village in the face, hit him in the face of Third Rakage. What else is the loveliest enemy, cute fart? Third Rakage, at this moment, wishing to pierce Chimu Yu directly with a consistent hand to relieve his hatred. Father, Chimu Yu is too arrogant, dare to despise me so much, Cloud Shinobi Village. This bastard, 
leave it to me and compare, we will definitely kill him. I below was also full of anger and said angrily. Takayama Janan sent it, but his book of war, Chim Yu Yu Y Yu didn't even look at it, and killed Takayama Janan, also slapped him in the face. Moreover, this bastard only said that he wanted to take his father's head, and said nothing to himself, it was so deceptive. I, who feels ignored by Chimu Yu Y Yu, just wants to defeat Chimu Yu Y Yu head on and let him know the weight of the name, I. Master Rakage, in front of us, in addition to Orochimaru and Jiraiya who fought with us before, Namikaze Minato has also returned to the battlefield. And with the addition of Tsunadeheim and Chimu Yu Y Yu, the power of Konoha's frontline has undergone a qualitative change. It is really irrational to fight Konoha blindly now. Cloud Shinobi Village, although advocating force, and every Cloud Shinobi likes to solve problems with his fists. But Cloud Shinobi Village also has a think tank. Although reasonable people are rare in Cloud Shinobi Village, they are not uncommon. A member of the think tank looked at the third Rakage Sama and I Sama who were about to collide with Konoha head on, and suddenly felt bad and persuaded them. Now the front of their Cloud Shinobi Village, the legendary Konoha Sanin, is all here. Sanin is there and combat power is not as simple as 1 plus 1 plus 1. Tsunade Haim, Orochimaru, and Jiraiya are strong men who have formed a team since childhood and grew up under the guidance of 3rd Hokage Serutobi Hiruzen. The teamwork of the three of them has reached a terrifying level. If Sanin is alone, the combat power is 1. Then the Sanin trio have at least 5 in combat power. Konoha's yellow flash caused them to suffer in the previous battle with Cloud Shinobi Village. The existence of time and space ninjutsu makes Yellow Flash a horrible shinigami on the battlefield. And these are nothing. With the strength of Cloud Shinobi Village, it is completely capable of handling it. The scariest thing is that Konoha's Chimu Uyu is here. Chimu Uyu, who is that person? He committed suicide and entered Sanagakure alone, beheading the captain and deputy captain of San Shinobi Anbu, almost completely destroying San Shinobi Anbu and severely injuring the elder San Shinobi Chio who has the first puppet master in the ninja world. A horrible figure who retreated to kill Sanagakure by himself. Even Iwagakure's third Suchikage, who was as famous as their third Reikage Sama, was severely injured by Uyu Saiga and severed his arm, and almost died by the knife of Uyu Saiga. And Iwagakure's two major war weapons, Four Tails and Five Tails Jinchuriki, were all captured by Uyu Chimu. Iwagakure and Sanagakure killed more than 5,000 ninjas in the hands of Saiga Uyu. Chimu Uyu is definitely the most terrifying killer god in the history of ninja. As a rare calm person in Cloud Shinobi Village, the members of the think tank looked at the way Cloud Shinobi didn't put Chimu Uyu in their eyes, and they didn't know how many cold sweats. Look down on this monster, isn't this looking for death? Iwagakure, but was already defeated in front of Uyu Saiga. Although their Cloud Shinobi village is stronger than Iwagakure, if this monster is underestimated, the end is definitely not much better. Huh? Third Rakage was already angry at this time, and glanced at the think tank member coldly. Don't even talk about you Yuchiji, even if Serutobi Hiruzen arrives. We, Cloud Shinobi, are we afraid of Konoha? Chim Yu 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 insulted me so much Cloud Shinobi village, I will kill him. Third Rakage roared with blood red eyes. There has never been a person who dares to look down upon him so much. As a man who claims to have the strongest spear, and strongest shield, and able to fight with eight tails, in terms of single handed ability, he is definitely the number one in the ninja world. Chi Mu Yu Yu. But as a young child who has just risen, dare to threaten to take his own head? Since you don't want to fight Konoha head on, then I also respect your suggestions. Make a plan to bring out Seiki Yu Yu and Konoha, Sanin. This time, I will slaughter Konoha's high-end combat power by myself. Then, Konoha is in the bag of our Cloud Shinobi village. Third Rakage said angrily at the members of the think tank. Master Rakage. The members of the think tank turned purple. What kind of respect is this? Do it. Third Rakage didn't mean to compromise at all, angered. Hey. Several members of the think tank looked at each other and sighed helplessly. Lord Third Rakage's meaning is already obvious. He has respected the part of the suggestion of their think tank, and the rest must be listened to. The members of the think tank who were used to it had no other way. They looked at each other and began to think about their plans. Third Rakage, already irritated by Chimu Uyu, is completely furious. Konoha, the frontline camp of the Cloud Shinobi battlefield. 
Tsunade sits on the main seat, and what is on the table in front of him is all the battle reports of these days. On the other hand, Yuyu sits beside Tsunade carelessly. The table is filled with the most treasured game and the best wine. While reading the battle report at Tsunade, Yuyu ate game and wine, and his mouth was full of oil. Yuyu, this stinky kid, really will enjoy it. Sitting below Jiraiya swallowed fiercely, looking greedy at the wild game and wine on Yuyu's table. These game dishes are not common products, and many have never tasted even Jiraiya. Not to mention those fine wines, Yuyu, this guy, ransacked Iwagakir directly. The big families of Iwagakir don't know how many years of inventory, but Yuyu, has turned the bottom up. These wines, even if you have money, can't buy them. Don't say it was drunk, some wine Jiraiya hasn't even seen it. In other words, Cloud Shinobi Village sent third Rakage, and I, who was selected as the next Rakage heir, and eight tails Jinchuriki, are harassing our supply line. Tsunade looked at the battle report with a weird face. The people of Cloud Shinobi Village, are they Konoha fools? Yes, and every time a supply point is destroyed, words will be released to make you why you look good. Huh? Orochimaru nodded, and said hoarsely, with a sarcasm in his tone. It is really embarrassing to expect these cloud shinobi, who are full of muscles, to use some tricks. Such an obvious trap is simply extremely retarded. But halfway through, Yuyu who was drinking and eating meat suddenly glanced over and made Orochimaru's mouth twitch. Third Rakage said it, not me. Orochimaru looked at Yuyu's increasingly dangerous eyes, the corners of his eyes twitched twice, and quickly explained. If Yuyu cut himself off, he would be too wronged. Yuyu. Don't worry about him, we just need to proceed according to the established strategy. Tsunade looked at Yuyu and said. The Konoha frontline has made detailed combat strategies based on the comparison of the strengths of Konoha and Cloud Shinobi. As long as we follow that strategy, Tsunade believes that Konoha will achieve a complete victory in less than half a year. And Cloud Shinobi Village didn't get Konoha's main supply line at all. What was destroyed were just some unremarkable supply points, even specially used to arrange blinding methods. It has no influence on the direction of the war. Tons tons tons, people have stretched their heads out to me, how can they not cut it off? Yu Yu drank the wine in his hand and grinned. The two main goals of the Cloud Shinobi battlefield, Third Rakage and Eight Tails Jinchuriki, have already appeared. Yu Yu will never give up this good opportunity. As for a good strategy, Yu Yu went from the Sand Shinobi battlefield to the Rock Shinobi battlefield, and then to the current Cloud Shinobi battlefield. Which strategy has you followed? Yu Yu. You mother in law, do you know who is in charge? Tsunade still wanted to say something, but Yu Y U pinched her pretty face, and suddenly became speechless. Looking blankly at Yu Y U, who was so drunk in his narrow eyes, Tsunade's pretty face flushed suddenly. Uh, uh. Very well, Commander Tsunade has agreed with my plan, so please do it. Then Yu Y U clicked Tsunade's chin down and smiled with satisfaction. The Orochimaru and others below suddenly twitched their mouths, and there was an urge to curse. Are you blind for us? However, due to Yu Yu's Y way, several people nodded in agreement with an expression of, I don't see anything. Yu Yu made it clear that he was going to kill all the third rakage. If Yu Yu's happiness is swept away at this time, the consequences will be. Thinking of the consequence, Orochimaru and others shuddered sharply. Jiraiya, on the other hand, looks depressed. Although I have heard a little about you why you and Tsunade's concern for a long time, Jiraiya still has the urge to cry when I really face it. My goddess was taken away by you why you. You you, this bastard, is not just a little more handsome than yourself, a little stronger, a little more domineering, and can lead Tsunade to win money. The more I thought about it, the more depressed Jiraiya became. You you, it's too dangerous for you to go alone, let me go with you. Seeing Tsunade's determination to kill someone, Yuyu said suddenly. Although I have absolute confidence in Yuyu's strength, there are third Rakage, eight tails Jinchuriki and the next heir to Rakage. Not to mention I, just say third Rakage and eight tails, the strength is definitely not comparable to Onoki and five tails. Eight tails, as a terrifying existence second only to nine tails owned by Konoha, is far superior to other tail beasts. The Eight Tails Jinchuriki Killer Bee is the only perfect Jinchuriki in the ninja world, able to fully control the power of Eight Tails. A sensible Eight Tails is definitely the scariest existence on the battlefield. Even if Iwagakur's Four Tails and Five Tails join forces, they are not necessarily the opponents of Eight Tails. And Third Rakage, 
a single round of personal strength, even if it is the strongest in the ninja world, not many people can deny it. With the strongest spear and strongest shield, third rakage can even fight eight tails hand to hand. It's a terrifying humanoid tail beast. Cloud Shinobi Village and Iwagakure have had many clashes in history. Even if Onogi has the ability to fly and dust the bug level, facing the third rakage, they are both at a disadvantage. This combination, coupled with an eye who already possesses the shadow level strength, is definitely the most terrifying force in the ninja world. If you why you go alone, Tsunade is really worried. Okay, sit in the camp obediently, and wait until I cut the first level of the bastard third rakage, and give you a gift. Yu Yu laughed and said. Orochimaru and others looked at each other and felt a chill. Listen to what is this? Taking the first level as a gift is too cruel, right? And it's the third rakage. When Yu Yu said it, he treated third rakage like a chicken, and he could kill it at will. Then you must have someone who does the dirty work. For example, find their location or something, Jiraiya, Orochimaru. Tsunade's heart was warm, she knew Yu Yu didn't want her to take risks. But I still don't want Yu Yu to go to the battlefield alone. However, Tsunade, who understood that Yu Yu said the same thing, didn't talk to Yu Yu again, and motioned for Jiraiya and Orochimaru with his eyes. The name Jiraiya and Orochimaru have wonderful expressions. What do you mean by doing dirty work? Orochimaru's face is green. The bastard Jiraiya says that he has a lot of bad ideas. Even Tsunade thinks he is suitable for dirty work. It's so deceiving. But seeing you why you on the side, Orochimaru forcibly calmed down. He is a generous person and doesn't care about Tsunade. Then he suffocated Orochimaru's stomach, and Snake Hitomi suddenly stared at Jiraiya who was aside. Yu Yu can't offend him, Jiraiya, the bastard, he must be taken to Ryuchi Cave to feed the snake. And Jiraiya, at this time, has no time to care what Orochimaru thinks. At this time, his expression is very exciting. Take a look at the tone and appearance of Tsunade in Uyu, that is how gentle and gentle, Jiraiya can see the shadow of Uyu in Tsunade's eyes. Look at talking to yourself again, that's a harsh one. This difference gave Jiraiya an urge to cry. Well, give you a face. Yu Yu wanted to refuse, so he went to kill people by himself, and what did you do with two oil bottles? But seeing Tsunade's beautiful eyes with a look of begging, his heart suddenly softened, and he nodded with a very reluctant expression. Orochimaru saw Yu Yu's reluctant appearance, and his pale skin twitched fiercely. From an early age, although his parents died on the battlefield, Orochimaru was regarded as the most dazzling genius in Konoha's generation after being accepted as a disciple by Serutobi Hiruzen. It can be said that Orochimaru has been bathed in the halo since childhood. In the Second Ninja World War, he was given the title of Konoha, Sanin, because he fought against Hanzo, known as the Demigod, and became famous in the ninja world. Because of the dazzling record on the battlefield, as well as the secret technique from Ryuchi Cave, the cruel and ruthless way of fighting, is called, Cold Kun, by the enemy. Before Yu Yu and the others came to the frontline battlefield, as the frontline commander of the Cloud Shinobi battlefield, he had led the Konoha ninjas to withstand the attack of Cloud Shinobi village for half a year. Such him, unexpectedly, was rejected by Yu Yu? And Jiraiya, who was still immersed in depression, unconsciously flashed a few sad songs in his mind. The tunes echoed in Jiraiya's mind, making Jiraiya even have an urge to cry. Born to be human, I hug. Bang. At this moment, a black scabbard slammed down on Jiraiya's back, and beat Jiraiya to shit. White-haired bastard, what kind of gods are you stunned, and he hurriedly left. And you, the snake player, if you two drag me down, I will chop you too and feed Katsuyu. Yu Yu cursed. Yu Yu is now in high spirits, and is full of brains to chop off the bastard of third rakage, and gain a huge amount of physique points. With the third rakage, who has the physique that can fight with the tail beast, I cut it off. Can I revive my family in front of Tsunade in minutes? And eight tails, as an existence second only to nine tails, you have to surprise yourself a little. Ohm, Chong. The lacquered armament hockey completely covered Yu Yu's hands, glowing like a metal. Yu Yu's hands were claw shaped, and under Orochimaru and Jiraiya's horrified gaze, they grabbed their shoulders hard. Wu. Then Yu Yu's figure turned into an afterimage and suddenly disappeared in place. The sudden terrifying speed made Orochimaru and Jiraiya pale, and their minds were completely blank. Seeing Master Jiraiya and Master Orochimaru who were caught by Master Yu Yu, the Konoha group present stared blankly at the direction where Yu Yu disappeared. 
Minato, have you done what I asked you to do? At this moment, Tsunade gave a dry cough and looked at Minato and asked. Don't worry, Tsunade-sama, I have left the flying thunder god technique on you why you. If something goes wrong, I can take you to Yu Yu's side. Minato nodded and said. That's good. After making all preparations, Tsunade let go of his heart. Cloud Shinobi Battlefield, a supply point for Konoha. Ba ba ba, the terrifying thunderlight turned into a dazzling beam and hit the center of several Konoha shinobi violently. Boom. Thunder light exploded at this moment, and accompanied by screams, these Konoha shinobi were tragically killed on the spot. And a burly figure slowly revealed. 3. Third Rakage. The remaining few Konoha shinobi, looking at the figure that appeared in front of them, their eyes were full of despair. Guys from Konoha, go back and tell Chimu Uyu to wash his neck and wait. Lousy will break his neck by hand. Third Rakage pointed at these Konoha shinobi and said solemnly. Warning Lord Uyu. Several Konoha shinobi people glanced at each other, and there was death in their eyes. Konoha, who doesn't know about Uyu sama's temper? Even Master Orochimaru and Master Jiraiya were beaten by Master Uyu and lay down for several days. Your special third rakage, this is sincerely forcing them to death. It's deceiving too much. Fire style great fireball technique. You bastard, go to hell. Third rakage frowned and watched the Konoha shinobi dying counterattack, suddenly turned into an afterimage, and solved them all. Father, these Konoha guys, are you crazy? I came to third rakage's side, her eyes full of puzzlement. Third rakage's face was thoughtful, and the fear in the eyes of the previous Konoha shinobi was by no means fake. But when I plan to let these Konoha shinobi go away, I have to fight myself hard. This makes third rakage also a little confused. And this is not the first time this has happened. Forget it. Regardless of these guys, now the main thing is. Huh, rumble. At this moment, a bright knife light suddenly lit up. Chang. Huh, accompanied by a harsh sound of a knife. Like the first sun breaking through the darkness, like a bright moon rising from the sea. A knife light that was so dazzling as ultimate, shining with a shocking cold light, suddenly lit up. Rumble. The black and purple sword light drew across a dazzling training, and under the control of the sword intent, it turned into a violent black and purple slash that was 15 meters high and 5 meters wide. Accompanied by a loud thunderous noise, the violent black slash is like a prehistoric behemoth out of trouble, crushing everything blocking it in front of it. Dodge. A hint of horror flashed in third rakage's eyes. What is the concept of an attack that is 15 meters high and 5 meters wide? Even the rakage building is not so huge. Looking at this violent slash, even the third rakage, who claims to have the strongest spear, and strongest shield, did not dare to resist in a hurry. Quickly stretched out his hands, grabbed I and Killer B's arms, and thundered. Boom. At the very moment, Third rakage passed this violent slash at an astonishing speed. Puff. What? There was a flash of thunder, and the figure of third rakage appeared in a clearing. Even if he brushed his shoulders with the violent slash, his cheek was still scarred by that terrifying sword. Unexpectedly, so sharp. Third rakage's eyes narrowed slightly, and the arrogance in his heart disappeared a little. Escape very fast, electric mouse. At this time, a slightly drunken voice sounded. Electricity. Electric mouse? Hearing these words, Third Rakage's face suddenly sank, ugly and scary. Him, Third Rakage of Cloud Shinobi Village, possessed the strongest spear, and, the strongest shield, able to fight with eight tails. In terms of single player combat ability, he is best regarded as the number one in the ninja world, and no one dares to question it. Now, someone dares to call him an electric mouse? Such insults caused Third Rakage's eyes to engorge with blood, and the arc ran across his body. Who? I roared suddenly when he heard that his father was so insulted. Bang. Two figures were thrown to the ground. Jiraiya, Orochimaru? You dare to insult my father. Seeing the appearance of the two, I's heart was shocked, but at the same time he roared, but before he finished speaking, there was a scene that made him stunned in place. Oh, oh. I saw the second of the legendary Konoha Sanin, Orochimaru, known as Cold Kun, and Jiraiya known as Crazy Ghost, turned pale, and suddenly bowed his head and threw up. That damn you why you bastard, grabbing them from the big account and rushing here. At this moment, Jiraiya and Orochimaru only felt that their minds were blank, their stomachs turned upside down, and they were about to vomit their bile. 
Both Third Rakage and I had forgotten their anger, and stared blankly at Orochimaru and Jiraiya vomiting there. The look of Jiraiya and Orochimaru is like vomiting their intestines. What kind of operation is this? Is it an insult to Lousy? The more Third Rakage thought about it, the more reasonable it made, and a huge anger surged in his heart. Orochimaru, Jiraiya, you two bastards, does Lousy look disgusting? Third Rakage roared. These two bastards vomited as soon as they saw Lousy, they were deceiving too much. Jiraiya and Orochimaru felt the terrible anger of Third Rakage, and their faces became pale. Normally, forget it, and the two of them are not afraid of Third Rakage when they join forces. But now their intestines are about to vomit. If Third Rakage spills fire on them, then they would be too wrong, right? No, no. Ah! Uh, Jiraiya and Orochimaru raised their heads and looked at Third Rakage. They were just about to explain, but before they could say anything, their stomachs turned overwhelming, their faces turned pale, and they fell into vomiting again. You are so special. Die to me. Lightning style lateral bolt of pain. Boom. Third Rakage let out a terrifying roar his eyes are blood red. Covered with thunder and lightning, the terrifying thunder and lightning enveloped Third Rakage's entire body. Let Third Rakage look like wearing a layer of thunder and lightning armor. And the most frightening thing is that there is a layer of black thunder and lightning outside that terrifying thunder and lightning armor. Black thunder. Lightning style unique to Third Rakage, powerful horror. Bah. Bah. Accompanied by bursts of harsh thunder, most of these thunder and lightning were concentrated on Third Rakage's right hand. Third Rakage's right hand is in the shape of a hand knife, and the dazzling thunder light completely covers his right hand, which looks like an amazing thunder knife. Jiraiya, Orochimaru, die for lousy, boom. Third Rakage let out a thunderous roar, and even his always thick voice appeared a little shrill. It can be seen how angry Third Rakage is at this time. Boom. Whoosh. Hey. Accompanied by a thunder. Third Rakage's body turned into a flash of lightning, killing Jiraiya and Orochimaru at a speed invisible to the naked eye. It's over, it's over. Jiraiya and Orochimaru looked pale when they watched the angry Third Rakage approach them. This is so amazing that even the black thunder with Third Rakage as the killer has appeared. One can imagine how angry Third Rakage is. Orochimaru and Jiraiya, whose vomiting intestines are almost coming out now, are simply unable to fight Third Rakage at this moment. Yu Yu. Jiraiya and Orochimaru shouted loudly. Because I was dragged by you why you, I rushed all the way to here, and then I vomited. He was mistaken for insulting him by third rakage. If this special thing is killed by third rakage, then they will simply die. Huh, rumble. Just as Jiraiya and Orochimaru looked palely at the knife that was about to strike them, a dazzling knife light lit up. Electric mouse, didn't you eat? Boom. Boom. Bah, the terrifying lightning strikes Third Rakage's hand knife, turning it into a destructive thunder knife. Accompanied by a harsh sound, it seemed that even the air was cut by this thunder knife. Huh, just when thunder knife was about to hit Jiraiya and Orochimaru, a cold light that was so radiant to the ultimate lighted up. The black and purple knife body was covered with a layer of metallic black, making the thick knife body even more terrifying. Chong. Whoosh. Accompanied by a harsh sound of the knife, the black and purple blade slammed into the third rakage's hand knife covered with a layer of lightning. Boom. There was a loud thunderous noise that exploded violently. Rumble click click, the horrible wave slammed Orochimaru and Jiraiya out. The ground was broken like a spider web, and the broken ground fragments were torn into pieces by the terrifying thunder light and sword before they were raised. The sound of the knife became harsher, and the thick black body of the black purple knife became more intense. Boom. What? Third Rakage only felt a terrifying wave, and then his body was suddenly bounced away. Bah, lightning flashes at the feet of Third Rakage, marking a dark scorched earth on the ground. Puff. Third Rakage looked at his right hand in disbelief. The terrifying thunderlight wrapped in his hand knife was cut open by the black and purple blade. On the back of his right hand, there was a bloodstain, particularly dazzling, causing the corner of Third Rakage's eyes to jump. The strongest spear is the right hand of Third Rakage. He fought hand to hand with eight tails without any injuries, but under that knife, his sharpest spear had a blood stain. Electric mouse, start so lightly, haven't you eaten? Yu Yu held Chusui in his hand, looked at the ugly looking third rakage, and grinned. Originally, I wanted to thank you, Yus Jiraiya and Orochimaru, for the black lines on their faces. With such a terrifying attack, 
UYU still feels lightly attacked? What's this? Does UYU think they died fast enough? Orochimaru and Jiraiya also remembered at this time, UYU, because they thought they had been in the big tent for a while. This is so. It's too vengeful. Jiraiya and Orochimaru roared in their hearts, and they lost their minds for a while, as to let them dance between life and death. Electric mouse? Didn't eat. Numerous blue veins burst out on Third Rakage's forehead, Third Rakage's eyes were blood red, and his fists banged. As the Third Rakage of Cloud Shinobi Village, he is a man who can fight with eight tails and is feared by countless ninjas. Where has Third Rakage been so insulted? The anger in his heart almost angered Third Rakage. He stared at UYU, UYU's handsome face, damn it in the eyes of Third Rakage at the moment. How could this bastard's mouth be so vicious? Asshole, who are you guys? I roared when the bastard appeared so insulted his father. Why is your Cloud Shinobi's IQ lower than that of Rock Shinobi's trash? Jiraiya, tell this old electric mouse and little electric mouse my name. Yuyu looked at I, who is eighth like third rakage in surprise, knowing that this is the future fourth rakage, and said to Jiraiya. Saimu Yuyu, aren't you Cloud Shinobi looking for him all the time? When Jiraiya heard the words, the corners of his mouth twitched, but he said immediately. Yuyu's mouth is getting more and more poisonous. Think about what Yuyu calls himself, white-haired bastard. Listen. This is almost merciful to Yuyu. And Orochimaru also has a weird look at the moment. In such a comparison, playing snakes sounds pretty good. Old, old electric mouse? Little, little electric mouse. Third rakage and I's face suddenly stiffened and their eyes suddenly filled with bloodshot eyes. This bastard is Chimu Uyu. What a poisonous mouth. Third rakage and I, one is the rakage that Cloud Shinobi Village has been in for the longest time. One is the heir of fourth rakage who has inherited the name, I. Where has been such a verbal insult? Puff. At this moment, a low laughter attracted the eyes of third rakage and I. Wow, wow, I saw Killer B took out his small notebook and kept writing something on it, laughing while writing. Huh? Brother, what's the matter with you? Puff. Killer B collided with the murderous gazes of Third Rakage and I, and they were silent for a while. I didn't use this asshole's words as material, asshole, asshole. Killer B felt the murderous gaze of Third Rakage and I, shrinking her neck, and explained. Bye. You brat. Third Rakage and I's faces are green. They were scolded like this by Chimu Uyu. This bastard is still there as material? Bang. I hit Killer B's head with a punch and smashed it out, yo. Even so, it can't stop my gorgeous rhythm, idiot, jerk. Killer B was smashed into a boulder and held out his thumb. Electric mice, you sing well in this play. Yu Yu laughed as he watched. Boy, you. Third Rakage and I Wubi were angry, turned their heads abruptly, looked at you why you, and stayed where they were just about to say a few ruthless words to fight back. I saw that brat who insulted them, sitting cross-legged on the ground, with a few plates of precious game that even Third Rakage hadn't seen before. Holding a bottle of good wine, a bite of game, and a bite of wine, the mouth is full of oil. F asterisk K, bastard, Third Rakage was so angry that he almost passed out. You are wine and game, combined with what the bastard said before. Are you really here to watch the show? Little, little bastard, you are going to break your corpse into pieces. Third rakage roared. Boom. The terrifying chakra erupted and turned into terrifying thunder and lightning, enveloping the entire third rakage. I was also unwilling to show weakness, and also put on a layer of lightning armor. Lightning style the armor of lightning style. Third rakage and I let out a roar at the same time. Boom. Ba ba, the terrifying thunder light completely wrapped third rakage and I, and they seemed to be wearing a pair of thunder and lightning armor, making them look extremely dazzling. The tyrannical thunder and lightning continued to raging, and the ground under their feet turned into pieces of scorched earth under the thunder and lightning. Only the successor of Cloud Shinobi Village Rakage can inherit the lightning armor. Not only does it possess terrible defenses, but lightning also stimulates the caster's cells all the time, which can greatly increase its power and speed. Aye, you don't need to act, see how Lousy tears this stinky kid to pieces. Third Rakage looked at his son and roared. The third rakage, who thinks he is the strongest in the ninja world, was so insulted by the bastard in front of him that he dared to say that he is an electric mouse who has not eaten enough. This insult must be washed away with the blood of this bastard. 
even eight tails and third rakage can fight and suppress melee, against a stinky kid, do you need his son's help? Father. Huh? You won't listen to me? I was unwilling to fight for it. The bastard Chimu Uyu insulted him too much, saying that he was a little electric mouse. For I, who inherited the name, I, and always admired military and force, totally unacceptable. He also wanted to cleanse the shame of Chimu Uyu. But before he finished speaking, he was roughly interrupted by Third Rakage. Bah, seeing the blood red in Third Rakage's eyes, I took a deep breath and dissipated the thunderlight from his body. If you violate Third Rakage again, the one who greets him is his father, the Iron Fist of Love. Oh. Is the old electric mouse in such a hurry to die? Okay. I will chop you off first, and I will also take the life of that little electric mouse. Yu Yu scrubbed the Chusui in his hands and grinned at Third Rakage. Asshole. This sentence almost didn't let I break the defense, staring at you Yu with blood red eyes, wishing to tear it apart now. Little devil, you will also show your verbal prestige. When I tear you apart, I see if you can speak with this mouth. Third Rakage reached out to stop I, but his scarlet eyes and violent veins proved that his heart was not as calm as he was on the surface. This is also of course, thinking about him Third Rakage, he has fought the enemy village countless times in history. Especially Iwagakir, has been in danger by his soldiers for many years. But even the old guy Onogi's mouth is not so poisonous. At best, it's an idiot with muscles in his head. It's like the bastard in front of him, he said he was an electric mouse when he came up. What a special old electric mouse, when you tear this bastard to pieces, you will know that he is not old. Oh. Interesting. Watch me use this knife to chop off your mouse's head and play with snakes. When you let your snakes come out, I prepared a full rat feast for them, charged. Yu Yu grinned. The corners of Orochimaru's mouth twitched fiercely in this sentence, and Yu Yu's mouth was too poisonous. Asshole. I want to tear your mouth, boom. Third Rakage was completely furious, and his sanity disappeared completely. At this moment, Third Rakage didn't have any hands left, and the whole chakra rioted. I saw the Thunderlight masterpiece all over his body, which used the Thunder attribute chakra nature transformation to ultimate, so that the figure of Third Rakage almost disappeared in the Thunderlight. Lateral bolt of pain Chio dance, boom. The terrifying thunder and lightning were all concentrated on the right hand of Third Rakage, and countless electric snakes ran around on the right hand of Third Rakage. With a light wave of Third Rakage, a piercing thunder sound continued, as if completely piercing the air. Boy. Die to me. Woo. Third Rakage's right hand was in the shape of a knife, and with thunder, it stabbed you why you fiercely. The terrifying speed increase of the thunder and lightning stimulated the cells, making third rakage almost turned into a light of thunder, and it reached Yu Yu's side in an instant. Okay, so fast, as this third rakage? Orochimaru and Jiraiya beside Yu Yu were shocked. At this speed, even they could hardly see the movement trajectory of third rakage. Not to mention that they are currently in poor condition, even if they are in their heyday, it is absolutely impossible to be the opponent of third rakage. This man is a real monster. Dare to look down on me, go to death, arrogant brat. Third Rakage looked close at hand, Yu Yu's extremely angry face, a cruel smile on his mouth. With this attack, Third Rakage quietly saved Chakra when the bastard abused him. On the other hand, this stinky boy is still drinking and eating meat there. Unprepared, even the former eight tails had all eight tails cut off by himself. This kid is dead. Third Rakage's eyes were full of excitement as if he had seen the stinky kid who insulted him, died under his fist. Diarisis huh, at this moment, a cold light suddenly lit up, and the bright blade light was even more dazzling than the thunderlight flashing all over the third rakage, making third rakage shocked. Boom. The black purple blade slashed through a cold arc and slashed in the direction of third rakage's heart. Puff. The terrifying sword light turned into a violent slash, raging on the body of the third generation head rakage. The thunder and lightning around him was smashed by this slash in an instant, revealing the heart of Third Rakage. Boom. Then the violent black and purple slash, without stopping, slashed fiercely on Third Rakage's heart, making a harsh sound like a metal collision. Why? Can you see this instant flaw? Third Rakage had a look of horror in his eyes, and his body was cut off by UYU. The moment he was cut off, Third Rakage saw a pair of red eyes. In front of these eyes, Third Rakage had the illusion that everything was seen through. One sword flow heart cut. Yu Yu's indifferent voice sounded slowly. Ultimate speed? I control, but the future, 
Puff. Boom. The violent black and purple slash slashed in the heart of third rakage, slashing his whole person away. As the third rakage continued to slash into the distance, the violent black purple slash became larger and larger. In the end, it was tens of meters high, like a hill formed by slashing, raging mercilessly on third rakage's body. Chang. Chang. The sound of collision like the sharpest metal kept ringing, causing Orochimaru and Jiraiya to cover their ears unconsciously. Father. I looked at third rakage, who was cut off when she came into contact with the Yu, her eyes were full of horror. How is it possible? His father has the fastest speed in the ninja world. And that bastard didn't have the slightest preparation, his father suddenly got into trouble, how did the bastard react and also found the flaws in his father's attack? Such a scene has exceeded I's understanding. Even facing a monster like Eight Tails, his father had never been so embarrassed. Drink. Boom. At this moment, Third Rakage, who had been flying backwards, suddenly let out a roar, full of thunder. In the constant sound of thunder, the endless thunder and lightning converged towards the heart of Third Rakage, forming a new armor of thunder and lightning. Chong Kang. The harsh sound kept reverberating, and Third Rakage's face became extremely red. Hell stab Shibenkanshu. At this moment, Third Rakage's right hand suddenly merged, and the four fingers were like a spear, and countless lightning gathered on its four fingers, making these four fingers like a lightning spear. The reason why Third Rakage is said to have the strongest spear is because of this ninjutsu. Hell spikes four Kanshu. Once Third Rakage used it to cut off the eight tails of the crazy eight tails. Break it to me. Third Rakage roared. Four fingers slashed at the violent black and purple in front of him, poking out fiercely. The tyrannical lightning, all concentrated on the four fingers of third rakage, turned into a terrifying lightning spear, and slammed into the slash in front of him. Boom. Click. In a violent roar of thunder name, the extremely embarrassing slash that slashed third rakage was finally broken in a clear sound. Boom. The horrible waves shattered the surrounding boulders in the earth, and the raised fragments hadn't flew far but were cut into pieces in this violent storm. Hu Hu, third rakage panted heavily and looked at Yu whose face remained unchanged in the distance, with horror flashing in his eyes. Puff. A harsh sound sounded, and the thunder and lightning scar on third rakage's heart suddenly shattered, and a bloodline rose and fell to the ground. Father? Can you cut the eldest brother's father? Stupid, bastard. I and Killer B were shocked. Third rakage, known as the strongest rakage in history. With the strongest spear and strongest shield, you can fight and suppress the crazy eight tails. The strongest spear is the Hell Spur for Kanshu of Third Rakage. And the strongest shield is the body of Third Rakage. In Third Rakage's decades of glorious history in the ninja world, there has never been an enemy that can leave any scar on it. But at this moment, Third Rakage was slashed casually by Yu Yu Chimu, and the blood flowed? How is this kind of thing possible? By be careful, I don't know why, the guy in front of you has an aura that makes me familiar. Inside Killer B's body, Eight Tails looked at Killer B sitting on his head, and said solemnly. Familiar breath? Is this guy also Jinchuriki? Stupid, bastard. Killer B, gestured and rapped. No, this guy is not Jinchuriki, but a more terrifying power than Jinchuriki. What the hell is it? Eight Tails said in a low voice, recalling it carefully in his mind but because the memory was too long and the breath was not too obvious, Eight Tails couldn't remember it all the time. However, just by feeling this overflowing breath, Eight Tails felt a sense of horror. Anyway, you must be careful. This guy has a problem. Eight Tails growled at Killer B. Yeah. Killer B looked so uneasy at Eight Tails, who had always been arrogant, his eyes under the sunglasses slowly became serious. What kind of power does this Konoha guy have? Make Eight Tails so uneasy unexpectedly, do you know my scar? Third Rakage looked at the thunderbolt-like scar that he had broken open, his forehead blew veins violently, his eyes were extremely gloomy. Few people know this scar. This is an Eight Tails violent, when Third Rakage used the strongest spear to fight with Eight Tails, in the final hit, he accidentally hit himself. His strongest spear penetrated his strongest shield, this thunder-like scar was formed. This is regarded as a shame by Third Rakage, and keep it secret. Not to mention Konoha, even Cloud Shinobi Village knows very few people. How did the bastard in front of me know? And those red eyes glowing made him feel like he was completely seen through. 
The feeling that everything is not under control makes third rakage, who has always been strong and domineering, totally unacceptable. This is a shame. However, I still have to test it out. Third rakage looked at the figure standing with a knife in the distance, his eyes slowly becoming serious. This kid is not an ordinary guy. Not to mention why this kid would completely see through his attack. Just the slash with one hand, there was such a terrifying power, which made third rakage completely suppress the arrogance in his heart. Chim Yu 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 is a well-deserved name. This guy may be his true opponent. Third rakage's gaze gradually heated up, and as he was warlike, he felt his whole body boil at the moment. Electric Mouse, the skin is quite hard. How about you change your name to Electric Turtle? Old fellow. Yu Yu looked at Third Rakage, spit, and said cursingly. When Third Rakage heard the words, the fighting will that had just burned suddenly rubbed, and the corners of his eyes jumped frantically. Damn brat. Third Rakage let out a terrifying roar. This kind of stinky kid, I thought he would be his true opponent just now? Really blind. Look at me tearing up your mouth. Cloud Shinobi Battlefield, a supply point for Konoha. Known as the strongest rakage, with the strongest spear, and the strongest shield, the eight tails, who fought madly and suppressed it, the third rakage, his eyes were red at the moment, and the bloodshot eyes almost burst out. The blue veins all over his body violently made him look like he was bloodshot and extremely ferocious. The whole body was trembling constantly, his breathing was extremely heavy, and the whole figure was like a balloon that was about to burst. Damn brat, I'm going to tear your mouth. Third rakage let out a roar, and even the thick voice appeared a little piercing which shows what exactly third rakage has become like. Yu Yu's mouth is really poisonous. Having evaded to the distance, Orochimaru and Jiraiya, who were watching the battle here, glanced at each other, with strange looks in their eyes. What do you say? It's like a virgin who is moving like a rabbit. When Yu Yu scolded third rakage, it would be translated as moving like a mouse, quiet like a tortoise. Third rakage, the longest and strongest rakage in the history of Cloud Shinobi Village, who has been standing in the ninja world for many years, how could it have been insulted by such language? Jiraiya and Orochimaru shuddered as they watched Third Rakage's anger and almost madness. They can be regarded as knowing what is meant by words as a knife. Yu's words are more unbearable than slashing Third Rakage by dozens of knives. Orochimaru and Jiraiya figured it out in their hearts, and let's coax you why you a little later. If you let you why you use all his poisonous tongue on them, the two of them can't stand it. Oh? Don't like the word electric tortoise? Then call you electric bastard, old bastard, watch me chop off your bastard head for you to make a bastard soup. Yu Yu looked at the furious third rakage, holding Chusui in his hand, grinning. Asshole. Boom. Ba ba, third rakage couldn't stand Yu Yu's insult anymore and thundered all over. The tyrannical lightning surrounds third rakage's body, making it look incredibly dazzling. And third rakage's eyes were not bloodshot anymore, but turned white directly. Turning white eyes stared at you, why you, as if to devour him alive. Ohm, third rakage didn't talk too much nonsense, exploding chakra to ultimate. Because he knew that as long as he put a cruel word to greet him, it would be hundreds of times insulting. He is one of the strongest rakage in history, and in the mouth of this bastard, he has become a rat, a bastard. Let it go on, third rakage is afraid that he will be pissed alive. Ba ba, at this moment, third rakage's right hand was in front of him, his thumb pressed the little finger, and the three fingers formed a new spear. Ba ba, countless thunder and lightning gathered on these three fingers, forming a terrifying thunder spear. Although this thunder spear is smaller than the four fingered spear, the tyrannical thunder and lightning has become more concentrated. At one point, the penetrating power has been improved qualitatively. Hell stabbed three Kanshu. Third rakage let out an angry roar and the thunder spear gathered by the thunderlight of the fingertips made a piercing electric sound, as if to pierce the air. Bye. Third rakage is going to be real, and the guy who makes me uneasy. The confrontation between the two is very dangerous. Stay away. Inside Killer B's body, seeing the formation of Sanbankanshu, eight tails said solemnly. Hell spikes four Kanshu. It is indeed the reason why third rakage is called, the strongest spear. But Shibenkanshu is only the initial state of this terrifying technique. Third rakage did not reduce a finger, the power and penetration of thunder and lightning will have a terrible increase. When there was only the last finger left, all the tyrannical thunder and lightning were concentrated at one point, capable of penetrating everything in the world. The third rakage at the pinnacle of cage level, all the lightning created by chakra, 
attached to the ultimate thunder attribute chakra nature transformation, plus the tyrannical attributes of the lightning itself. Only the third rakage with the body known as the strongest shield, an index finger can withstand the tyranny of these thunder and lightning. In the beginning, eight tails was stabbed off all eight tails by this consistent hand. The terrifying power of this technique is still fresh in the memory of eight tails. But this is not what makes eight tails the most uneasy. After all, it has become friends with Killer Bee and will not be as crazy as before. No matter how terrible the third rakage is, it won't hurt it. Eight Tails is disturbed by the Konoha Shinobi who is hostile to third rakage. From that man, Eight Tails felt an incomparably long-lasting power deep in the memory. That kind of power made Eight Tails extremely uneasy. Even though third rakage used Sanban Kano Eight Tails still felt that the Konoha Shinobi who did nothing on the opposite side was even more dangerous. Brother, let's retreat first, Eight Tails, this guy has been urging me, idiot, jerk. Killer B looked at I with solemn eyes and rapped. Retreat. Bye. Are you scared? Father, even if we work together, he is not his opponent. He is absolutely invincible. I hated the iron and looked at Killer B, angered. Well, I just conveyed what Eight Tails said, that's all, idiot, jerk. Killer B shrugged and rapped. Eight Tails, what do you feel? It makes you so uneasy. I put her hand on Killer B's forehead and communicated with Eight Tails in her heart. Boy, it's best to listen to me and retreat far away obediently. That Konoha guy has a terrifying force that you can't feel. You want to die, don't pull me and Bill in. Eight Tails snorted coldly. He was just very close to Killer B, but not to Ake. Death? I's cheek twitched, his eyes gloomy. Since he inherited the name, I, no one has ever said this word to him. Boom. Just about to refute, a shocking explosion suddenly sounded. Hell stabbed Sanban Kano. Third rakage roared, and the violent thunder and lightning were all concentrated on the three fingers of his right hand, turning into an invincible lightning spear. Boom. The terrifying thunder and lightning surrounds third rakage's body, stimulating the cells of third rakage, turning it into an electric light, like a bolt of lightning, and slamming it at UYU. Hey, hey, it's too dazzling, electric mouse. Yu Yu grinned. Ohm, suddenly, Yu Yu's eyes condensed, and a strange red glow suddenly lit up in his eyes. Future. It has been seen by Yu Yu. The ultimate observation hockey launch. Armed. Chang. The black air current climbed up to the black and purple blade of Chusui, making its already heavy blade appear deeper and deeper. Chong. Kang. Kang. Chu Shui, blessed by armament hockey, let out a scream of swords. Chu Shui's sword body trembled slightly, as if an excited emotion was overflowing. Chu Shui, it was originally a black knife that was conceived and raised by Armament Hockey for several years. Before UYU, Armament Hockey was still very weak and couldn't use the full power of this black knife. At this time, UYU, Armament Hockey has reached the penultimate level, has the general strength of Marine Admiral's Armament Hockey. At this time, UYU began to truly display the full power of Chushui's black knife. What is this energy? Third Rakage, who turned into a thunderlight, felt the breath of Chu Shui Dao's body, and his whole body was a little chilly. This is the battle intuition that Third Rakage has developed through countless battles. Intuition tells Third Rakage that the strange energy condensed on this bastard knife is threatening to himself. It's been a long time since I felt this kind of feeling. Before tearing up your gaze, let me enjoy it, kid. Third rakage roared, and three fingers stabbed at UYU fiercely. Want to enjoy? Go back and discuss with your mother mouse. I am only responsible for cutting your head, electric mouse. Yu Yu grinned, his eyes full of red. Oh, damn brat. Hearing Yu Yu's words, third rakage almost got mad. With immense anger and regret in my heart, why didn't I control my wanting to utter cruel words? Obviously knowing that as long as he speaks harsh words, he will be greeted with insults thousands of times. At this moment, Third Rakage closed his mouth tightly, and stared at UYU with his white eyes. Three fingers turned into thunder and lightning spears and slammed at UYU fiercely. Now he just wants to tear the stinky bastard in front of him to pieces. Left. A. When the lightning spear was about to hit UYU, UYU suddenly turned sideways. The sideways are not large, but the thunder and lightning spear composed of three fingers by third rakage just passed UYU. Then a knife light that was so dazzling as ultimate lit up, and Chu Shui slashed at third rakage's shoulder fiercely. Bah! 
The thunder and lightning armor surrounding Third Rakage was quickly torn by Chu Shui, and the harsh sound waves even caused the birds in the sky to fall down and die on the spot. In an instant, the lightning armor at Third Rakage's shoulder was completely torn, and Third Rakage's shoulder was exposed under Chu Shui's blade. The shoulder is the connecting part of the human body's torso and arms, and is relatively fragile. Although he was very confident about his body, Third Rakage still did not dare to use his shoulder to fight against the knife that could quickly slash his thunder and lightning armor. The terrified Third Rakage hurriedly turned sideways, his back muscles bulged, flashing thunder, and he took Yu Yu's knife. Chang. As the shrill sound of metal collision resounded through the earth, the terrifying wave overturned the earth under the feet of the two. The terrifying wave caused the earth and the surrounding boulders to break continuously, and one after another, black cracks appeared on the earth like an abyss. Boom. A loud explosion sounded, and Third Rakage's body was thrown away in embarrassment. Bang. Lei Guang made a masterpiece at the feet of Third Rakage and stabilized his center of gravity. There was a fierce pain in the back and told Third Rakage that even his strongest shield was also injured by the knife. Again, again. Third Rakage was shocked. Although this kid is not low in strength, his speed is definitely not his opponent. But why? This kid knows his own attacks well. Even Sharingan from the Uchiha clan can't do such a thing. Because Sharingan of the Uchiha clan has ultimate dynamic vision, but being able to see does not mean that the body can keep up. But the guy in front of you is different. After two consecutive attacks were frustrated, Third Rakage was very sure that this kid had reacted to his own attacks in advance. It was as if he could see what he was going to do next. This feeling of being completely controlled made Third Rakage almost crazy. For Third Rakage, who is extremely proud and known as the strongest Rakage in history, this feeling of being completely controlled is a huge shame. This kind of shame is no less than being accidentally injured by one's own strongest spear. Shame can only be washed away with blood, but what is going on? It must be figured out. Third Rakage's eyes were solemn, and he relaxed his three fingers side by side. If you don't know why this kid can predict his attack in advance, it doesn't make any sense to use Hellstab. A missed attack, no matter how strong it is, is futile and will only waste his chakra for nothing. It must be figured out why this kid can react in advance. At the very least, it needs to be figured out as to how far this kid can predict his offense. Even if you have to, pay some price. Special, electric bastard, your bastard is really hard. Just when Third Rakage was about to pay some price to figure out what happened to you why you, Yu Yu's actions made Third Rakage stunned. I saw you why you cursing and took out several bottles of fine wine from behind. Then, without even looking at Third Rakage, he opened all the bottles of fine wine. Tons tons tons, under Third Rakage's sluggish gaze, Killer B and I stared in shock, you why you took the wine bottle and poured it into his mouth. Quick, run away. Jiraiya and Orochimaru in the distance, seeing this scene seemed to have seen the most terrifying scene, suddenly their complexions changed drastically. Running away like desperately. The monster in Yu Yu's body is about to wake up. The battlefield between Konoha and Cloud Shinobi, a supply point for Konoha. Cloud Shinobi village is known as the third rakage of the strongest rakage. The next heir to rakage, I and Eight Tails Jinchuriki Killer B, stared at the scene in front of them dumbfounded. In the tense situation of fighting with third rakage, Chim Yu 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 actually took out several bottles of fine wine from behind. Without even looking at third rakage, he drank freely in the ruined and messy ruins. Tons tons tons, the battlefield was extremely fierce just now, and it was extremely quiet at this moment. Only Chimu Yu Yu's drinking sound continued to sound. Yes, Yu Yu is going to be drunk. Quick, run. Seeing this scene, Jiraiya and Orochimaru's faces turned green. Those bad memories in the depths of the memory are recalled. Especially Orochimaru, Yu Yu at the beginning is just a kid who applied to graduate from ninja school in advance. But after getting drunk, he almost cut him off as a spy. Had it not been for the wine that Serutobi Hirazan asked him to bring in advance, I am afraid that I would have to be crippled without death. Orochimaru will always remember the feeling of facing Uyu who was drunk at that time. That was the feeling of facing the demigod, Hanzo during the second ninja world war with him. At this time, Yuyu's strength is the same as before. Orochimaru couldn't imagine how terrifying Uyu would be if he was drunk again. Thinking of the horrible place, Orochimaru and Jiraiya looked at each other, and then fled away desperately. The distance between now and Uyu does not give them any sense of security at all. 
The monster in Yu Yu's body is about to wake up. Third rakage, it's dead. Damn, damn, how does this bastard look down on me? Third rakage was stunned for a moment, then his face flushed suddenly, and the veins on his forehead burst. In the ninja realm, anyone who fights with him is not extremely dignified and dare not to be careless. But what about this bastard in front of him? He was slapped and drank, and he was completely ignored. Boom. Ba ba, this insult made third rakage somewhat irrational. The tyrannical thunder and lightning almost made third rakage's figure disappear into the lightning. Ba. I saw third rakage's hair stood up, making it look like an angry golden lion. Lightning style chakra mode full force mode. Wow. Damn brat, die to me. Third rakage flashed and killed you why you. The white eyes proved how furious third rakage was at this time. No, that's not right. Orochimaru and Jiraiya, both of them, are running away? At this moment, I trembled suddenly and saw a scene that he will never forget. The two people hailed as the legendary Konoha, Sanin, by the ninja world, Lang Kun, Orochimaru and, Mad Ghost, Jiraiya. These two were extremely proud. The terrifying man called the demigod. Hanzo, the two who dared to fight to the death. At this moment, they seemed to have seen something terrifying them, and they were fleeing desperately in the distance. Damn it, be careful, that guy, something is not normal. At this time, eight tails roared inside Killer B's body. Father. Aiden had a bad premonition when he found that something was wrong, and hurriedly yelled out to remind him of his anger that he was about to reach Chimu Yuyu's father. But everything is too late. Bang! Yuyu smashed the bottle after drinking, and his eyes filled with red. The tortoise shell of third rakage has completely lost your patience to you why you. Ding. Master fell into anger after drinking, and got a temporary status bonus. Ding. Kendo comprehension times 5, temporary, ding. Physique x5, temporary. Ding. Armament hockey times 5, temporary, ding. Observation hockey times 5, temporary. Current kendo comprehension. Great swordsman, provisional. Current armament hockey intensity. Penultimate top level, admiral of headquarters top level, provisional. Current observation hockey intensity. Ultimate, able to predict the future of 5 seconds, temporary. Comprehensive strength. Super cage level. A series of reminders kept ringing in Yu Yu's mind. At this time, Yu Yu has reached the level of a great swordsman, and his strength has also been fundamentally improved. Super cage level. Second only to the existence of the six paths level, the level of strength of Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara in the original book. This is the terrifying power that even the shadows of the five hidden villages can crush them together. Baby. Watch Lousy chop up your tortoise shell, take it back and make the soup. Ohm, a strange red glow lit up in Yu Yu's eyes. Yu Yu, who is in control of the future, has a smirk on his face. Chong. Chu Shui, blessed by the top armament hockey, made a piercing sound of knives. Don't be kidding, arrogant smelly kid. Lightning style thunderplow hot knife. Third rakage roared, and the tyrannical thunder and lightning were all concentrated on third rakage's left wrist. Let his wrist be like a violent thunder knife. Then, with a terrifying speed that even Mangekio Sharingan could not see clearly, he slashed at Uyu fiercely. Ultimate speed plus tyrannical lightning equals invincible attack. The third rakage in full power mode, even the monster like eight tails, can't match it. The name of the strongest rakage in history is well deserved. Huh, at this moment, a blade light that was as cold as ultimate suddenly lit up. It is as dazzling as the bright moon rising in the same round of the sea. Bah. Under third rakage's horrified gaze, the terrifying thunder and lightning entwined around him, in front of this knife, turned out to be like a piece of paper, quickly torn apart without any hindrance. Then, he severely slashed on his left wrist, puff, blood rose, and a broken arm with blue veins and electric sparkles rose into the sky. Known as the strongest shield, the body of third rakage, who has been fighting on the battlefield for countless years, and no enemy can leave any wounds on it, was cut off. Puff. I and Killer B looked at the severed arm in dismay. That is, known as the strongest rakage, the left arm of third rakage. Third rakage is called the strongest rakage because it has the strongest spear, and the strongest shield. The strongest spear, Hellstab can make third rakage cut off all eight tails of the crazy eight tails. The strongest shield, third rakage's body can keep third rakage free of any injuries during decades of fighting and fighting. 
but at this moment, the strongest shield was cut by Chimu Uyu with a single knife. Moreover, it is still in lightning style chakra mode full force mode, with the left arm of third rakage who used the thunder plow hot knife. On the front, cut it off in one fell swoop. How can this kind of thing happen? Even Killer B, who has always been very nervous, was stunned at this time, and his eyes popped out of his sunglasses. Eight tails, as this. What you are talking about, the extraordinary power. It's really, scary, idiot, jerk. Killer B wrapped in shock at the eight tails in her body. No, it's not that kind of power yet. Eight Tails was also extremely shocked at this time. It has been suppressed countless times by third rakage, and truly knows the horror of this man known as the strongest rakage. But at this moment, the man who once stabbed all its eight tails off was cut off by the Konoha monster in front of him with a single knife. Yes, monster. Even known as one of the most terrifying monsters in the ninja world, among the nine-tailed beasts, eight tails, the only one who can fight with nine tails, feels that the guy in front of him is an out and out monster. But this is not what Eight Tails fears the most. The kind of power that has always made Eight Tails heart uncomfortable, this Konoha monster has never shown it. Although only a faint touch was felt, Eight Tails confirmed incomparably that that kind of power was definitely familiar to it. Hey! Third Rakage, whose arm was cut off, turned into a flash of light, and quickly moved away from UYU. Third Rakage, who reappeared, looked at his severed left arm, with a sullen face and a little astonishment in his eyes. The word wound is almost non existent in Third Rakage's memory. Except for the fight with Eight Tails and accidentally wounding himself with the strongest spear, Third Rakage has been on the battlefield for decades, and after countless bloody battles, no one can leave half a scar on it. But now, when he used the left arm of the Thunderplow hot knife, it was cut off in the front. Looking at the blood flowing continuously, Third Rakage's complexion turned out to be a strange red. Really, it makes people feel excited. Bah. Third Rakage's right hand was shining with tyrannical thunder, and then his eyes condensed, and he slammed on the broken part of his left arm. Bah. 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 Accompanied by a harsh sound that made people sour, a disgusting smell of meat continued to spread. After a while, the bloody broken arm was scorched black under the influence of thunder and lightning. On the other hand, Third Rakage had no other expressions except for the violent veins on his forehead. A crazy fighting spirit that has never been seen before, burst out from the body of Third Rakage. The second round of battle has begun, Chimu Uyu, remember my name, I. Third Rakage was covered in thunderous masterpieces, his eyes flooded with a frenzy of being addicted to fighting, and he called out the name that he hadn't called out for many years. I. A name that can only be inherited by Rakage of the past generations. In other words, as long as the name is inherited, the previous name has been wiped out. Since choosing his son as the successor of the next Rakage, third Rakage will let his son inherit the name. And one generation, there is only one, I. From then on, third Rakage, who had high hopes for the younger generation, lost its name. But at this moment, third Rakage once again called himself, I. Because he met a real opponent. A strong man who can cut off the left arm of the lay plow hot knife with a single blow. Although young, poisonous, and alcoholic, he is a terrifying strong man with a peerless genius. A terrifying monster that will not necessarily be able to defeat if you go all out. Such an opponent, let Third Rakage not know how many years without boiling blood, completely boiling. Third Rakage, who has already chosen his successor, just wants to fight the man in front of him. Even if you will die here, this is the happiest moment in his life. Father. A touch of pity poured on I's face not far away. As the son of Third Rakage, I knows his father too well. At this moment, his father has already planned to let go and fight Chimu Uyu. I, although very much wanted to help his father. But as a man who inherited the name, I, like Third Rakage. I fully understands that any help to Third Rakage at this moment is an insult to him. Two lines of tears flowed from I's eyes unconsciously. That guy standing with a knife but a monster who can cut off his father's left arm with a single blow and will do his best to use the thunderplow hot knife. Can his father really win? Big brother. Killer B patted I on the shoulder, trying to comfort her elder brother. I? Yu Yu stood with a knife and always liked to use words to stimulate the enemy first, and then beheaded Yu Y U. At this time, there was no more thought of insulting third rakage. Looking at the thunderous man in front of him, Yu Yu's mouth slowly cocked. Finally, there was an exaggerated arc, haha. Laughed. Very well. I, 
I Chimu Yu Y Yu admitted you, I will use this knife to see you off. Yu Yu laughed and said, a trace of clarity flashed through his drunken eyes. Holding Chu Shui in his hand, the sword intent spread out like substance. If you can do it, come on. Chimu Yu Y Yu. Third Rakage also laughed when he heard the words, and raised his only right hand, full of thunder. Hell stab. A consistent hand. Boom. Ba ba. The tyrannical thunder and lightning surrounded Third Rakage's body, almost completely submerging his figure. All chakra did not have the slightest reservation, all focused on this blow. In the face of this monster that can slash the thunder and lightning armor in its full force mode with a single blow, and also use its full force to use the thunderplow hot knife to cut off the left arm of the monster, Third Rakage has no reservations. Rumble. In the sky, dark clouds are densely covered, and the sun's brilliance is completely obscured. Ba ba ba, boom. Countless electric snakes are constantly flowing in the dark clouds. When the current is accumulated to ultimate, the thunder roars loudly. The dark thunderclouds are constantly pressing toward the earth. This scene, like the end of the world, ultimate's thunder attribute chakra nature transformation, can actually affect the surrounding weather. Just use this trick to decide the outcome, Chimu Yu Y Yu. Third rakage roared, and the remaining right hand jerked forward, four fingers curled up, only the index pointing forward. Ba. The tyrannical thunder and lightning rushed towards Third Rakage's right index finger in an instant, and the endless thunder and lightning were all concentrated on Third Rakage's right index finger. With just a single index finger, almost endless thunder and lightning have been gathered, and in the entire ninja world, only Third Rakage can do this. Bah! Countless thunder and lightning gathered at one point, and the penetration and destructive power have reached its peak. Third Rakage's right index finger, at this moment, is like an invincible thunder spear. Really, the strongest spear, Hellstab. A consistent hand, third rakage guy, is going to work hard. Inside Killer B, eight tails said heavily. When it was crazy, third rakage used this ninjutsu to cut off all its eight tails. It can also be said that it was once defeated by this ninjutsu. Third rakage's consistent hand, just like the ninjutsu evaluation of the ninja world, is the invincible, strongest spear. Even if eight tails is the only existence of nine tails among the tail beasts, it cannot cope with this terrifying ninjutsu. But, why do I still think that it's still that monster, more dangerous? Eight tails carefully felt the breath of the Konoha shinobi, and the anxiety in his heart intensified. As if something terrible is about to appear. Is it a consistent hand? Interesting, just use you to sacrifice my sword. Seeing this ninjutsu in the original book, enjoying the reputation of the strongest spear, Yu Yu's mouth slightly cocked. Such a technique is worthy of sacrificing one's own new swordsmanship. Ohm, the sword intent is like substance, sweeping out of Yu Yu's body. It was different from the sword intent that changed the color of the world as soon as it appeared in the past. At this moment, Yu Yu's sword intent appeared and saw the roaring thundercloud in the sky quiet, even the tyrannical thunder and lightning around third rakage. And Yu Yu's eyes flashed with weird white light at this moment. No, not white light. That is nothingness. This, what is this? I and Killer B, just looking at Chimu Yu at the moment, they are holding their hearts uncomfortably. They felt an incomparably strange power surrounding Chimu Yu's body. They were obviously so far away from Chimu Yu, but they felt a tremor all over. It seems that everything is slowly separated from the surrounding space, time, and everything. Damn it. This feeling is a bit like Onoki's dust escape. I and Killer B felt extremely uncomfortable just being far away. Third Rakage, who confronted you why you face to face, was suffering the constant ravages of this terrifying sword intent. I saw Third Rakage frown and placed the index finger of his right hand that turned into a thunder spear in front of him, trying to counter the strange aura emanating from Chimu Yuyu's body. What made Third Rakage's heart solemn was that just this kind of aura gave him a sense of dignity in the face of his old opponent, Third Suchikage Onoki. But how is this possible? Dust escape, developed by Second Suchikage, is formed by the fusion of the three chakra attributes of wind, fire, and earth, which transcends the blood succession boundary of blood succession elimination. In the entire ninja world, there is only the horrible technique of the dead Second Suchikage and Onokakai. But now, Chim Yu 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 just standing there, only relying on the aura that he exudes, gives Third Rakage a feeling of facing the Ono Kitchen. How is this kind of thing possible? As this the greatest genius since the establishment of Konoha. It's really exciting. Third Rakage felt the terrifying danger, 
but the corners of his mouth became wider and wider. Finally, watching you why you laughed. I, you are the only guy who can laugh with my swordsmanship so far. I chimu you why you recognizes you. This knife will see you off. The emptiness in Yu Yu's eyes reached a peak, and the sword intent was condensed on the autumn water knife attached to armament hockey in a strange way. Oh mom. I saw Chu Shui's blade trembling constantly, and a strange light slowly condensed on Chu Shui's blade. As soon as this ray of light appeared, I saw the ground under Yu Yu's feet and the surrounding land, disappearing inch by inch. Not being destroyed, not being destroyed, but disappearing. Sure enough, it is the kind of technique similar to Chen Yun, swordsmanship, can it be achieved this way? Seeing this weird scene, Third Rakage's eyes twitched fiercely. Then, a more boiling feeling rose in my heart. That fellow Onoki, Third Rakage didn't look at him from beginning to end. An old guy who can only play tricks, fly around in the sky, and dare not fight him head on. Relatively speaking, although Chimu Yuyu's mouth is more poisonous, it is more in line with his appetite. Even in the face of such an attack, his strongest spear can pierce it. Hell stab. A consistent hand. Boom. Third rakage roared, thunderous. At this moment, every cell in third rakage is flooded with lightning, constantly stimulating his cells. Third rakage's cells kept trembling, chakra kept pouring out, and then under the control of third rakage, all turned into tyrannical lightning and gathered on his right finger. Whether it is speed, strength, or chakra, they have reached the highest peak ever. The price is that the third rakage at this time, known as the strongest shield, has cracks in the body. Third rakage, desperate. This guy, third rakage, has reached this point. But even if he defeated Chimu Uyu this time, the rest of his life would be over. The eight tails in Killer B feels incredible the terrifying power of third rakage is rising. This kind of power has surpassed the so called shadow. Even if it didn't reach the level of Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara, they wouldn't be crushed by them at will. This has reached a new height. But the price is that after this blow, Third Rakage's body may be completely unable to withstand it. The secret technique that Thunderbolt stimulates cells is a secret technique that can harm the body incomparably. Under the stimulation of thunder and lightning, it is equivalent to overdrawing the lifespan of the cell in advance. Even with the terrifying body of Third Rakage, Every time it uses lightning to stimulate the cells, it will not get better. Like third rakage is now so crazy to stimulate cells with lightning, it is tantamount to a desperate fight. After this blow, even if he did not die, third rakage would not live long. However, because of this, eight tails is now more inclined to third rakage to win this battle. Ohm, at this moment, a mysterious energy roared from Yu Yu's body, and then all gathered on Chu Shui's blade. Sin Luo Wanxiang, the strange light on Chu Shui Dao's body suddenly became extremely dazzling. I, I remember. Then, that power is, at this moment, the face of the beast changed drastically. Have you been desperate? As expected, it was the third rakage who crushed the shadows of the villages as soon as they appeared. Yu Yu watched the tyrannical thunder and lightning on the tip of third rakage's right finger, observation Haki kept perceiving, secretly marveling in his heart. The fourth ninja war in the original book, Third Rakage's terrifying power after being shown by Impure World Reincarnation, left a deep influence on Uyu. It is worthy of the name of the strongest Rakage on his back. Even fourth Rakage who has grown to its peak, I at this time, can't match the terrifying power of Third Rakage. At this time, Third Rakage stimulated cells through thunder and lightning at any cost, and the power gained has exceeded the category of Shadow class. That is, the power of Super Shadow. However, this kind of power gained by stimulating cells through thunder and lightning, making the body on the verge of collapse, is like facing Uchiha Madara's guy, using a deadly door, with only one chance. This way, there is, fun, isn't it? Ohm. Yu Yu grinned, his mind moved, and a mysterious force roared from Yu Yu's body. Ohm. All this power gathered on Chu Shui Dao's weird light. With the addition of this power, the strange light on Chu Shui Dao's body suddenly flourished. And the appearance of this power suddenly changed the expression on the eight tails inside the killer bee in the distance. This, this power is absolutely, absolutely not wrong. Damn. Why does this kind of power appear on him? No, it shouldn't. Eight tails seemed to have been greatly stimulated, and kept growling low, and finally, as if going crazy, it roared hysterically. What's wrong with you? Ah bah. Killer B looked at Eight Tails in such a gaffe, suddenly a little anxious, and asked. 
It was the first time he saw eight tails, so gaff. It's like seeing something incredible. This power can never be wrong. It is the power of the old man. Why does it appear on this guy named Chimu Uyu? Eight tails didn't seem to hear Killer B's call, and fell into its own world, saying things that made Killer B feel dizzy. Hey. Ah bah, are you rap? Stupid, bastard. Killer B rubbed his head and rapped. Idiot. It's not a rap, then, you guy, run away quickly. The guy named Chimu Uyu is not something you can fight against. Damn, with this kind of power, the three of us simply don't have enough power. Retreat, then. Eight tails yelled and said. Huh? What kind of power is it? Make you so scared, ah bah? Killer B looked at eight tails with a gloomy look, and asked puzzledly. It's too late to explain. In short, we need more information from this guy. If we bump into it like this, maybe we will all die here. Eight Tails said in a deep voice. We must figure out the relationship between this man named Chimu Uyu and the old man. If you don't figure it out, let alone Eight Tails, even if all the nine beasts arrive, there may only be food delivery. Can't wait any longer, what the hell did this guy do? Third Rakage looked at the weird light shining on the black and purple knife, and his heart became more and more disturbed. Just now, Chimu Uyu's swordsmanship only gave him a sense of escape from Ono Muchin. But since just now, it seemed that a strange force had been injected into this blade, and the feeling was completely different. Third Rakage's intuition told him that the technique currently performed by Chimu Uyu may be countless times more dangerous than Chen Dun. I also want to observe and look for the third Rakage of Chimu Uyu's flaws. I can't wait any longer at this moment. His body was already experiencing bursts of tearing pain. He knew that even if he had a physical body called the strongest shield by the ninja world, he would almost not be able to survive these tyrannical thunders and lightnings. Up. This will be my strongest blow. Hell stab a consistent hand. Boom. Third rakage roared, and the whole person seemed to really turn into a thunder and lightning. Ben followed the roar of thunder and lightning, and third rakage turned into a light of thunder and slashed at Uyu fiercely. The first part of Raiden is the consistent hand of third rakage. The invincible, strongest spear, amazing attack, in terms of lightning style, Ichimu Uyu would like to call you the strongest. One sword flow. Yuyu laughed and put Chusui in front of him, his sword intent reached a peak. Although third rakage seemed to be truly transformed into thunder at this moment, even Mangekyo Sharingan could not capture its movements. But Uyu, who owns the ultimate observation hockey, has already taken control of the future of third rakage. No matter how fast the thunder and lightning, will it pass the future faster? Huh, Chu Shui slid across it gently. A pike lighted up like the only light in the dark. Pixian lightly swept across the roaring terrifying thunder and lightning, like a god gently brushing across a fallen leaf. Sin Luo Wanxiang Extinction. Yu Yu's voice is extremely ethereal at this moment, like a god. Ohm, at this moment, the tyrannical thunder and lightning completely stopped in the air. Third Rakage's face was shocked, and he maintained the posture of one consistent hand, watching the thunderlight all over his body disappear in front of that pike trainer, and then he used the right index finger of the one consistent hand, also in Kun Kun. Disappear. As if being erased by the gods. This is, is your most powerful swordsmanship? Chimu Uyu. Suddenly, Third Rakage's complexion calmed down, as if it wasn't his body that had disappeared. Yes, this is the strongest blow I have ever swung. After a moment of silence, Uyu said lightly. Ha ha ha, it's really regrettable that there are guys like you in this world of ninja, why didn't you show up in the world of ninja sooner? Third Rakage suddenly laughed wildly, tears of laughter came out. Not having an opponent who can head to head with him is the biggest regret of Third Rakage. If Chimu Uyu had appeared in the ninja world earlier, he might have been stronger. If you are stronger and fight Chimu Uyu, how happy will it be? Chimu Uyu, Remember my name, I. Ha ha ha. Ohm, with a loud laugh, Third Rakage's body slowly disappeared in the sword light, and finally, completely annihilated. Only left, his loud laughter and final roar. I. What a good name. Yu Yu looked at the Chusui in his hand, and the corners of his mouth curled slightly. Cut one, the guy who deserves to cut himself.